Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I'll be putting the camera feed up in a second here. <coughs> yeah, so, um, with the passing of a thousand subs or so, uh, we also got access to uh, the super chat feature, which is. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I've just got allergies and I didn't take allergy medicine uh, last night, so it's kind of crap. <clears throat> Speaking of which, I should take some decongestion, so. Uh, yeah, I'll do that real quick. Uh, super chats are basically where you, um, pay me money <laughs> to have a big chat message. Um, it, it just supports the channel. Um, I don't really have anything set up to, like, read text-to-speech anything you do, but, yeah, it's basically just donating to the channel, so. Um, if you want to do that, that's great, and, I mean, it'll help me see whatever your question is, but I don't have a system set up in place for handling them right now, so. Um... <clears throat> I'll just respond to them like normal chat messages, really. I, uh, could always play them over, uh, this, uh, acapella voice thing I have here. And I'd just, uh, pipe it through my mic, and I'd go to, like, uh, just do this, and be like, hello. There we go, I'll just play. Hello! This is epic. Yeah, I could play like that. Um, it's just up to you. You can do whatever you want. But <clears throat> do you know when this laptop will be available in Canada? Um, unfortunately, I don't. I think it's just stock concerns that have it low in stock in Canada. In Canada so yeah. So um, one second here. Let me just duplicate this.
Okay, I'm back now. Uh, we can actually get started with things. Finally. <clears throat> Gonna be a little congested today, but I think we can all handle that, so... <coughs> Just allergies, they suck. Um, let's see here. That that is really crappy looking. Uh oh. Uh, do you guys want music on? I can turn it off. I might turn it off. But yeah, this is the uh, Zenbook 14 here. Um, it's in this box. I might need to adjust the camera here to get rid of this banding. Uh, we're gonna go full screen projector. That do it? Yeah, okay. There, perfect. <laughs> okay, so I'm recording now. Um. Okay, so um, before we get started, is there anything in particular you guys would like to see? Um, oh, oh yeah, okay. Is there anything in particular you guys would want to see um, on the Zenbook Fortune here? I'm going to mute the music. Because <clears throat> I know some of you guys don't like the music being constantly played during your live streams, so I won't do that. If you haven't got any questions or anything, I can just uh, <clears throat> get started here. Uh, what are you talking about, Sink? <laughs> Alright, so, yep, you can see here, uh, let me move my crap out of the way so I can see OBS. About music, yeah. Yeah, I know you guys, sorry, I know you guys don't like the music sometimes, so I'll just turn it off, because it's better to have people happy and, uh, allow me to edit music in later for the video because the live streams it just i try to i'm trying to avoid getting like a copyright strike no not a copyright strike a dmca for like the music oh gross sorry about that that was kind of gross um but yeah i'm trying to avoid getting a like dmca or anything for the music because that's really annoying so i only play like music i know is safe but i suck at getting playlists to work in vlc so <laughs> um yeah Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, let's cut this open. You can see it's still sealed because I was patient and didn't open this yesterday. And we're just gonna. There we go. Camera falling out of focus as usual. Um, is the camera zoomed? No. Okay. Oh. Really? <laughs> okay, then. Okay, so... We can see Asus... Um, oh, did my stand just... No, okay. Asus is using some of their hinge knowledge to um, push the computer up out of the box when you <laughs> open it. That's um, neat, I guess. You can see that cardboard there. It's probably better engineered than some of the hinges I've seen, but... <laughs> um, standard manual. Uh, some instructions of some kind. Get all this stuff out of the way. Yeah. As you can see, I just took the screen off. <clears throat> Uh, 
How is MX350 compared to Vega 7 and Flex 5? Um, basically, uh, the Vega 7, I'd have to look here. Find it, Loki? Yes. Cool. That's not what I wanted. Sorry, I'm just trying to look up um my article on this so I can tell you. <coughs> Sorry. So an MX350 um is like uh forty percent better than Vega Seven. So <laughs> it's an improvement for sure. Uh so we have quick start guide all of this is fairly useless to us um what's in here oh the little power adapter why why are all of your comments being held for review i don't understand this <laughs> um okay there's nothing over here which is funny because it pulls up that's just the weird hinge thing. And, um, yeah, I think we're done with the box now. Okay, so let's just get this out of the way now. Am I- I'm not too quiet, am I? These allergies are really terrible. Uh, how much is this? I got this for five fifty from Best Buy yesterday. Uh, it's, I think it's currently on sale for like one hundred and fifty dollars off, so it's much more expensive. <laughs> Uh, but, <coughs> yeah, it's more expensive than the Flex 5. One row of cooling vents on the other side. Well, we can take a look at that shortly here. I need to reposition my microphone, actually. I really ought to get, like, my Asus laptop from seven years ago has a better box. Yeah, I imagine. I mean, this is, like, a really cheap Asus. Um, are you going to get the Yoga Slim 7 AMD? Maybe. Do I return it after I review it or what? Yeah. Yep, that's what I do. Typically. I mean, sometimes I don't. Like the Nitro 5 I have, I've had it for way too long to return it. So it's just kind of like I'm going to sell it when I'm done with it. But for now, I'm kind of keeping it because it's useful for, like, uh, learning about Ryzen. Well, Ryzen 4000. Sorry, I'm just moving my microphone. <laughs> Will you test if MX3... Okay. Will you test if the MX350 makes sense with this chip? Yep, that's what we're doing. Uh, two lanes of PCIe... Okay, we'll take a look at that too. See what it's allocated for. But yeah, I'm going to be taking a look at the Yoga Sim Sl Slim 7 AMD at some point. It's just uh, a matter of time. I'm going to plug in this charger and then we'll take all this plastic off the laptop and uh, enjoy some laptop looking. Does it have Wi-Fi 6? I don't remember. Uh, we can look into that once we've got it set up, though.
Okay. <clears throat> All right, so on this side we have blurry. Okay, so we have um, this is a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A. I don't remember which HDMI type this is. I've got a DC barrel. Um, on the other side, this is like a USB 2.0 port, uh, micro SD card slot, and then a uh, headphone jack here. So yeah, let's just uh, get this open. You can see along the bottom, there's this uh, big grill here. And we've got a grill at the bottom here, which does not... I don't know. We'll have to look at it. Let's just get this open. Okay. So immediately, um, I, I believe this is entirely a metal build. Yeah, this is like a metal bottom. Um, it looks like it's got like a small Torx head uh, for the screws. Yeah, it does kind of suck that it's only micro SD, but it's hard to get better than that, unfortunately. But yeah, okay, so we've got two downward-facing speakers. Again, we've got this grill here, which... Let me get a light. See if we can see through it. little inspection. Um, quite the tight mesh there. I don't know. Let me see if I can see anything. Uh, it looks like most of it's blocked. <laughs> um, we'll take a look at that shortly here. <coughs> okay, so open it up. Actually, um, we'll take this out. And nice. So this also uh, has the type of feet on Asus laptops where they lift um, the bottom up. Which is neat, but uh, not particularly interesting. <coughs> Please open up the underside. We'll be looking at the underside shortly. I don't want to open up before we make sure it works. Oh yeah, I've got to put the charger in. So yeah, you can see here that uh, <coughs> we've got this uh, metal palm rest. It's kind of brushed looking. It's not the most premium metal I've ever felt by any means, but it's certainly metal. Huge trackpad. Yeah, that's true. This is actually a nice feeling trackpad. It's very, um, it's quite smooth. I don't know why it's just not doing anything, but... <laughs> If I push on the keyboard, does the lid close? No. If I open it wider, maybe? No, you'd have to push awfully hard to do that. Oh, it's got PWM keyboard backlighting. Oh boy. Um... There we go. This trackpad is just lovely. <coughs> Thank you, Cortana. Yeah, hey, hey, everybody of my 38, uh, 30 something viewers right now. Alright, come on. U.S. U.S. Skip. Staples Canada has the UM433 IQ variant. I wish there was a way to skip out of the box experience. Yeah, I know. It sucks. You get to look at my curtains while I set up some of this stuff.
Um, initial impressions on the keyboard backlighting and lettering. Uh, it's terrible. <clears throat> uh, basically, uh, I can't read the text <laughs> um, very well. Like, it's it's easy to see on the camera, but from where I'm sitting, like if I turn it like this and then I zoom out, I don't know. It, it's just hard for me to read it. I don't know why it is like that. It's just the lettering is basically impossible to read. If I turn the backlighting off, it's a little easier, but still kind of meh. Uh, nope. Decline. Oh, no. Um, we'll just accept that. I don't care. Uh, how was the keyboard when typing your password? I didn't type in a password, so I don't know. It has Alexa, apparently. I don't know. Oh, so, uh, I don't know how that works. <laughs> I'm not sure if you had the 2019 version, but I have a question. UK, it's hard to find a DiaPad 5. I think it's a good idea to buy a ZenBook. Um, well, third gen Ryzen, uh, well, no, 3000 series Ryzen mobile is really bad. So uh, basically, the value is always terrible in anything that's Ryzen 3000 because it's outperformed. No, it's outperformed in some tasks by similarly priced intel machines so it's i just not advisable to get uh like a 3700u or something like that yeah so apparently this has an ir camera which is neat um it has their quote unquote military grade quality which is uh marketing bs uh this does have wi-fi 6 apparently so we'll see if that's uh ax200 or something else i don't know what it is Put chat over here so I can see it without having to crank my head. I'll just adjust this window. There we go. Okay, so we're on the desktop now. <coughs> Let me turn the screen brightness down. Let me actually see if I can get the keyboard to a way I can read it. Maybe it's just this light. Let me turn this light off. Yeah, okay, so turning that light off helps a little bit, but in a bright situation, it's, like, impossible to read. Military grade equals can snap and crack if knock the table. Yeah, pretty much. Um, let me turn the screen brightness down. So where the camera is not having a panic attack. There we go. So just double check a few things. 1080p. Let's open up device manager since I know some of you are curious about this. So, just, you know, we got the MX350 here. Um, we have an AX200, which is great. AX200 is a nice Wi-Fi card. We have the 4500U. We got Realtek Audio. Um, and a ASUS, I guess, proprietary precision touchpad driver. Um, I There's the little... Amazon app. I don't really know um, how that feature works, um, nor do I really especially have any interest in it. So I, w I won't be messing with that right now. How much system resources and storage have been filled up with the bloatware? Or if there's no bloatware. Um, okay, let's look. Well, luckily, you don't have to deal with, like, uh, Candy Crush for some reason. Oh, it's because I'm not on the internet yet. My bad. Let me jump onto my Wi-Fi here. There we go. How many PCIe lanes? Uh, yeah, let me just uh, get eight of 64 downloading here. I kind of like this trackpad, but the acceleration is just weird. I don't know. Cooling potential. Yep. Yep, yep. We're getting there. Don't worry. 
Let's get Chrome on here first so that I can actually breathe. How much RAM is this model? Only only eight gigabytes, which sucks. Um, and that's part of the reason why I'm probably not gonna be holding on to this for very long. Okay, so CPU's pinned with um, virus protection as usual. Um, memory is about forty percent. We're only using three gigs right now, which is nice. Still most of the memory, but regardless. Um, we have 200 gigabytes free of 236, so I guess 36 gigs were used by ASUS stuff. Candy Crush is removed in 1903, or 1909. Okay. Good for learning Blender? Uh, I have no clue. We, uh, we just opened this, so I have no idea what this is good for yet. Let me unpin some of this stuff here. Bunch of junk. My Asus. Yeah, we'll look at that later. Uh, let's get Ada64. Because that's what I like to use to look at lanes. We're also going to get Hardware Info 64. Because that might be what I'm thinking of. I don't know. We're going to need to get it anyway. Um, okay. Where? Oh, I love this. I love this display scaling. I can't see anything. <coughs> this is a uh, stop. <laughs> More of an issue with uh, 864's website constantly throwing pop ups at you, but whatever. Uh, we'll just download from Major Geeks. They have a fast CDN, so. Why is there so much crap going on? Why? <laughs> Stop. Where do I download? Isn't it? E oh, right here. Duh. Jesus Christ. Hello. Please. Alright, we'll install this in the meantime. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm struggling. Sure. Yeah. All right. Let's just download from the original site, which is what I not didn't want to do, but whatever. Okay. So here we go. Bus. Oh yeah. This is kind of um. I think what I wanted to do. <coughs> so um. One thing here we can see. What are your thoughts on the MX-350, the power supply can't even power it properly in the Zenbook? Um, I haven't heard that, but, I mean, we'll, we'll test it. I, um, I, I don't really know. <coughs> I've never used an MX-350, but we'll see. I, I think it's a fine GPU if um, it's running at 25 watts. Otherwise, it's just kind of like, why? Uh, it's okay. We've got dual channel, 8 gigs. Um... With uh, 40, 39, 45, 90 timing, which is uh, interesting to say the least. Um, this is a GTDR5 MX350. Let's take a look at the PCI lanes here. So we have X1 bus, X8 bus. We have an we have a PCIe 4x bus going to our um, Hynix SSD, um, but it looks like the SSD itself is only 2x. So that's the, um, that 2x restriction you were talking about. I'm sure if we put a different SSD in here, it would probably run at four because it's a 4x bus. Unless they only soldered two lanes, but that'd be weird. We can always test it later on. I probably won't test it in this stream, but I could test it uh, off stream if anyone's interested. Does the USB-C support display out? Uh, we can check that. Let's see. Let's see if it's DP-Alt. I don't know if it is. 
I don't think it is because it's only listed as USB 3.2. So, I mean, just, oh, I think it definitely is because it just said some random crap about DisplayPort. Uh, let me put my camera HDMI into this and see if you get a video. Okay, fully plugged in. Um. <laughs> Try this again. Oh, I might not have um set the monitor settings. One second here. <laughs> Display. No, nope, it's just not detecting anything. I don't know why. It's giving me a prompt about displays and then just not doing anything. Or it might just be this dongle thing I have is broken. I don't know. Okay, well I'm just going to assume it's not working. Let's get the camera feed back up. Okay. Yeah, nice blurry photo of nothing. Okay, so, yep. Uh, let's just stop looking at some of this stuff now, because this is not particularly interesting. Um, let's install ADA64 now. Did I just download Portable? Ugh. Damn it. Alright, let's download from a different CDN. Tech power up. There we go. Turn this display scaling off. I don't like this. Why is it 150? <laughs> Why? Okay, and I've just got to get my key. Oh, that's something I already don't like. So there's um <coughs> there's one weird thing I kind of noticed already with the uh, palm rest. Be prepared for poor thermals. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably going to be pretty bad. Um, but <coughs> but yeah. So I just was um typing on the keyboard and I had my like wrist on the palm rest. I think I just registered. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I... <coughs> if I go and I just put my... Because you can see I'm not selecting motherboard here. That's what I'm hovered over. Just the motherboard option. If I just put my wrist down here and push, it clicks. I'm not on the pu I'm not on the uh, touchpad because you can see that's the clicking. I'll click over here again and I'll just put my wrist right here. Actually, I'll just push here. You can see um, if I push at the right point. Actually, no. If I just push here entirely, I was able to trigger it. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time now. There. Okay. Yep. All right. So if you push... <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah. So if you just push here... It seems like you're able to kind of... Oh, no, that's just literally my hand hitting the touchpad. Well, then, okay. Um, I guess my hands are just too big for this thing. <laughs> um, <coughs> we'll turn off this stuff. Uh, we'll go to Unified. Why do I not see anything? Why is there no preferences? There it is. Go and set this to one second sensor graph. We'll go to unified and we'll just do a quick test because why not? We'll do a CPU clock. Um, GPU temperature, I guess. Okay, yep, that's probably good. Uh, we'll set this to 100 and hit OK. 
make this bigger. Uh, I don't know what David said. Is this better than the Lenovo? Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean? Um, because I, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't messed with this yet, really. Okay, so we've spiked up to 29 watts. We're maintaining 29 watts. Temperatures on the CPU diode at about 80. We're dropping down to about 25 watts. Temperature diode is still about 80 for some reason. Um, GPU temperature is slowly climbing. Um, yeah, I, I don't know um, if the Lenovo is better or not. Or if this one's better, you know. Yeah, so 83. So a good single pipe cooler can probably cool around 25 watts. Um, and this has a single pipe cooler from what I understand. Uh, but ideally for something with a dedicated graphics card, you'd want two pipes because then you can get closer to 35 watts. Um which can help. Oh, there we go. So you can actually, let me zoom in here. So you can see this is our graph of our sensor data here. Uh, this is the CPU diode temp and this is like a GPU temp and this is our random other CPU temperature. This is our clock speed and this is our wattage and you can see we peaked up close to 30 watts for a little bit and then we dropped down to 25 and now we're just hanging around 20. Can you put some tests on the RAM here since it has low? Um, I imagine you got that from the Brainus video, right? Um, one thing with uh, Brainus's video, or however you pronounce his channel name, is, uh, I mean, I talked to him about this afterwards because I had some doubts about his claims. And uh, what it ultimately boils down to is the fact that the Flex 5 is allowed to run up to 40 watts temporarily and then it scales down to 35 watts. You can see this system does not run continuously at 35 watts. It's only running around 20. So if you take that into consideration, that's 15 watts less. So 20 versus 35. Let me see. 15 over 35. That's like 40% less power. So the power can, well, the performance difference he's seeing between the 4500U and the 4700U, um, it doesn't have to do with the RAM because the RAM only, like stock on these devices, the RAM configuration is kind of meh. But like if you look at um, just the power consumption of these devices while they're running these benchmarks, uh, the power consumption is very different. And, you know, the RAM is slightly different, but like the power consumption is the main thing that drives performance and you can see for a fact that a six core six thread processor running at like 35 watts is probably going to outperform a eight core eight thread processor running at like 15 uh, just because that's how these type of things tend to line up um, RAM might have some influence in that but you can't really tell unless you do like apples to apples same CPU um, which would be an interesting thing to do, but I mean, as you can see here, um, I don't. Th I think this has LPDDR4. I don't remember. Let me look. Oh, stress test is running, so everything's slow. I forgot about that. Yeah, this is the LPDDR4 X4266. Um, uh, and that's. Th this is what he was claiming was uh, one of the potential. Uh, things that affects performance negatively but I really kind of doubt that personally um, because you know again power consumption main driving factor uh, yeah and we can see here actually the chart is showing <laughs> the power going down further which is weird because the temperature here has not really exceeded anything that's like bad so let's fire up hardware info and see why uh, maybe it's just our power p profile oh great you want free Dropbox? Let's just stop this for now. So the machine would benefit from better cooling, probably. 
uh, fan noise. Honestly, I can't tell because I have a fan running <laughs> in here. I'd have to check um, by turning the fan off, and I will do that in a second. Can you do some tests on the RAM? I hear. S oh, never mind. Um, which is better, the netbook, that, or the Lenovo? It's performance in games. I don't know yet. Let me turn off my uh, fan here so I can hear the laptop. I can't hear anything. Yeah, that fan is hardly going. Hi, Cool Tech. How's the keyboard backlighting? Is it hard to see? Yes, it's like impossible to see. Um, it's nice on camera, but I'm sitting here, and if I don't sit at the right angle, I can't really read the <laughs> lettering. Uh, let's see if um, my Asus has uh, some configuration option. Just go. Just go. Just go. Let's see if there's a configuration option um, where we can set that like performance. Auto or silent? Brilliant. What a good configuration. Oh, uh, do, do you want do you want silent? Best performance. Mm. That's probably not going to do anything. Let's try this again. Yeah. So the reason again why we're doing this is just to see. Yeah, this turbo is really terrible. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's just uh, pull this open. You can see the CPU is only at seventy five degrees Celsius. And yet we're throttled down to 20 watts. Why? See, this is this is hilarious. I don't I don't understand why Asus is like throttling it down to like nothing. You can see here again. We're at 20 watts. I have the best fan profile on because it's auto or silent, which is kind of dumb. Um, and we have. 70 ish C at 20 watts, and we're looks like we're dropping again. Yep, this thing doesn't like going over 75 watts, which is no 75 C, which is odd. Okay, let's do something more interesting with this because uh, we know that thermals are kind of stupid. Um, let's just uh, close this down and let's open it. Why not? We're going to see if the bottom fan holes are blocked. And to protect the computer from getting super scratched and scuffed, I have some bubble wrap. That's kind of crunchy sounding. How is the screen compared to the Flex 5? Uh, not sure yet. I've only had it on really low brightness, so it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, and we also haven't looked up the panel name, so we'll look at that soon. So that's my iFixit kit. Uh, thank you, David. Okay. So let's see what si um which size of a uh, Torx bit we need to get into this. I have to move this mic out of the way here. Hold on. So a T3 is too small. Let's try T4. It's probably T5, but yeah, definitely T5. Hmm. 
maybe T6. No, T6 is too big. I appear to be missing a bit, but that's fine. Oh, man, that's great. Didn't scratch it, so that's good. I'm sure you guys love that noise, though. Yeah, thank you, David. I'm glad you enjoyed them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I um, like being thorough, as you can tell. Now let's just hope I don't strip a screw, because that would be kind of lame. I probably should get, or set up like a monitor for, um, uh, any way to change Asus's odd thermal throttling threshold. Uh, maybe. We can try using Ryzen controller. Um, I kind of want to avoid using that software on stream, because I've never used it before. But, um, if you guys want to see me mess with Ryzen controller for, like, 20 minutes, <laughs> um, then let me know and I'll do it. Careful, each screw is a different size, yeah. Uh, if you're looking for something for $600 that needs to last you, okay, well... I can't recommend anything for eight years because that's really far out. Um, if you're going to get something that you want to last for eight years, um, then try to get something as serviceable as possible. Um, that's kind of my advice there. Yeah, four PCIe lanes, just NVMe is gimped, yeah, basically. Here's all the screws are the same size, so we don't have to deal with um, the meme last time of the screws being different sizes and me almost destroying the computer. So that's nice, at least. One second here. I've got to find a little pry thing. Yeah, I mean, you can, a computer can last seven years, it can last eight years, it's just a matter of taking care of it. Um, I can't recommend the Flex 5 mainly because of the hinges uh, for longevity, but <coughs> uh, something like a, uh, honestly, I don't know if, you'd have to look at my uh, Flex 5 alternatives video because I don't remember off the top of my head which is the most serviceable something like a HP whoops that's lovely something oh man this is all messed up now isn't it <laughs> good 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 oh my camera stand kind of undeployed I didn't lock the legs there we go just fix this. Oh my god. Why why is it so crooked? I don't understand. There we go. Okay. <coughs> um but yeah, so like if you want to avoid um your laptop breaking. I probably wouldn't get the Flex 5 if you want to last eight years because um, of aforementioned uh, hinge issues and other videos. Motion sickness gang. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Man, this is going to be fun to open up, isn't it? How on earth is this supposed to work?
Hmm. Hmm. It's all metal, so it's not going to really give very nice. Come on. You can do it. Let me see if maybe there's screws under the rubber feet. That'd be kind of crap, wouldn't it? Uh, one second here. Let's see if Asus has a service manual for this thing. No, okay. What's the best way to open this? Is there a video anywhere that you guys... There are two more screws under the feet? Where? Which feet? Top? No, oh, that's garbage. Okay, I already don't like that. <laughs> uh, because getting these feet off is super annoying. Especially trying to get them back on correctly. God. Check out the AMD video. What do you mean? Oh, man. How do I get those off? Andrew Mark David. Okay. <clears throat> I'll pull up the video here. Hold on. Oh, it's this guy. Uh, what do you mean by AMD video, though? Oh. Well, that's a pretty bad reason not to open it. Yeah, I know Andrew Mark David, but like what video? Jesus Christ, these are like super glued in here. Oh, okay. I'll just look for Asus in his library then. Oh yeah, one hour ago. Uh, it does have a reusable adhesive. Whatever that means.
There we go. Finally. Holy crap. Okay, next foot. Yeah, so FYI, if you're going to do service on this thing, you better be uh, Hulk grip. There is no valid reason to do this. This is just dumb. AJW, you, are you like watching the stream back like minutes ago? Jesus Christ. Uh, what do I have? Okay. Yeah, I'll be messing with Ryzen controller, I know. I hate these rubber feet. I'm sure this is very exciting for you guys. Getting to watch nothing. Here you go. Here's a cool here's a here's a cool graphic. While I fight with these annoying rubber feet on the bottom of this computer. Oh, you prefer bubble wrap? Well, sorry. <laughs> um. Make sure to let me know if I forget to uh, switch it back to the camera view, because I probably will. So the, the rubber feet have like a piece, there's like a plastic piece that tries to hold it in, so. You have to like fight it. Oh my god. I think they, I think they're betting on people like damaging their computers while they're doing this, because I don't know why else they'd make it this difficult. Let's go back to bubble wrap. Whoops. <sighs> oh. Um. Do I have these? Yeah, these will work. Asus wants you to use their slow SSDs. Yeah, I guess. Uh, let's see. Can I just pop this out like this? Oh, that was not a good idea. There we go. Maybe they don't want it to be user serviceable. Yep. That's 100% why they did that. Like, guaranteed. There we go. Um, so, if you want to remove the feet easily... Use a sharp poker stick thing or a pair of tweezers with sharp ends and just push at the edges um, to pop it open. And then after you're done removing all the torques, all you need is this Phillips, I guess. Yeah, this seems to be about the right size. And you can just remove these hardly tightened down Phillips screws.
constrained to keep it quiet? Yeah, but it's in auto mode. I don't know why auto has to be so quiet. Um, let's see. Can I just pop this open now? Probably not. Is this like a thing I can hold on to? No. Oh, is this whole... I should look at that video again. Yeah. Yep, okay. Everything comes apart. Some are already available open box at Best Buy. Yeah, they're going to be really happy when I return this. Like, oh, good, another one. Just what we wanted another Asus Zen book. That was unnecessarily painful, but... <clears throat> oh. Yeah, so you guys are interested in if the fan was covered. And I have interesting news for you. So, um, you know how Asus has been rep roasted repeatedly for being stupid and covering their fans? Well, look at this. You see that? See how the fan is covered? Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> They've got absolute geniuses working for them. Okay, so let's see here. Actually, I'm going to do this and I'm going to take a picture of it. it's funny pay less use less yep that's what you get when you buy Asus brilliant okay yep all right don't need to tell me about the memory card could you take it off possibly um Let's see. Yeah, it's just like a, it's, I'm um, sorry. It's just a little like sheet of plastic. So I probably could just peel it off. Eh. We'll do that once I'm done uh, with their benchmarks. Okay, so we have the SSD here, which as you can see is a kind of crappy SSD. It only goes to about here and then the rest is PCB, so it's a 2x SSD. Okay, we'll have to check out Ryzen controller. Um, here we have, what the heck is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. So, here we have some magic pads. I don't know what this, these pads are. Yeah, it's not just the fan. It's just dumb that they're uh, covering the fan as usual. But um, Oh, interesting. Okay, so let me just fully pull this off here. Because it's kind of a useless piece of nothing. So you can see there's a connector here that's missing. I don't know what that connector is for. Maybe a touch screen. Yeah, that's about the only interesting thing here. Uh, it looks like the APU is here and it's held down by four screws and they have some sort of uh, tape on the edges and then it just 
is screwed down. Um, we have the MX350. Yeah, it might be dust protection. I'd imagine it probably is. I'll just stick that back on now. Perfect. Not perfect, but good enough for me. Uh, the fin stack is actually not bad. It's actually uh, quite generously sized. Uh, this is probably a bit more of a gap than I'd like, <laughs> but um, whatever. Uh, this is really pokey. It looks like this side I.O. here, um, which unfortunately doesn't include the charger, but anyway, the side I.O. is attached via a cable here. Um, battery is attached via this cable here, and I think this might just pop up. can't tell. I don't want to break it. But it kind of looks like a vertical cable. I don't know. All right, we'll not we're not going to mess with the battery cable. Um well yeah, but the heat sink is fine actually. I mean, this pipe is working. It's just not being allowed to go as high as it should. Uh, we'll have to see um, if there's an issue with uh, the heatsink once we uh, start the GPU testing, but uh, again, we'll see. Yeah, the, the, inter the internals are not very interesting. Literally, the only thing you can do is swap out the SSD. So, yeah, that's not exciting. Uh, we'll just put the lid back on for now, then. There might be screw... the Wi-Fi card upgradable? Nope, it appears to be soldered, and I think it's right here, actually, yeah, this little module. Okay. Yeah, so if you can see inside of this um, back lid, there's, like, some plastic framing or something. Um, I don't really know why. But whatever. Probably stability. Okay, so let's just get this back on now. For the sake of not having to pry those up again, I'm going to put the feet down uh, slightly below where they were. And then I'm going to screw these down. I'd recommend you do this too if you're going to buy one of these. Looks like their Intel laptops are still a better choice. Uh, I don't know about that. I think the design is still dumb, but... Um, I, I, in general, I'd probably just say not buying Asus would be the better bet. Uh, but, yeah, that's the only real way to get away from their, uh, stupid practices. Kind of, like, mind-numbing, um, <coughs> selecting, I don't know. <laughs> uh, there it is. I was saying something, but I don't know. But yeah, so it, it should be possible. No, sorry. It should be possible to um, basically remove the plastic covering over the fan if you want to. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind uh, for anyone who's looking to purchase one of these, that you can improve airflow by doing that. Uh, Asus would say, well, you risk getting more dust in your fan, and you risk things like... Um, the other components in the board getting too hot but as has been established by literally everyone else in the industry that's not necessary uh, they're just doing it because they can and because it uh, introduces artificial product segmentation because performance is worse but 
funnily enough, um, I guess they just set a really low power like temperature limit on this. I don't know why. Um, I have my own speculation, but I just want to look, make the AMD one, yeah, maybe. I don't know what ASUS's angle is. Maybe that's something to do with um something that happened after the G14. I don't know. Okay, so we've almost got this put back together now. And we can continue testing. Uh, we'll be running a little GPU and CPU stress test to see how it handles that and see if the this thing turns into a massive pile of garbage when we do it or not. We'll see. And that'll ultimately determine how interested I am in continuing testing on this because if it does not pass my uh, CPU and GPU stress test with the flying colors, I will be pretty sad. See the HP Omen and how open it is on the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the HP Omen is basically a giant vent, and there's a lot of great laptops that are basically a giant vent. More ventilation is not bad. Uh, more ventilation is what you want. Uh, desktop cases prove this. I don't think you've ever seen a uh, desktop enthusiast be like, man, I wish this case had less airflow so that it got better circulation over certain components. I, that's not really a thing that happens. And in something this small, you can't really force airflow very well, so. Hello. That's weird. <laughs> okay, then. That's epic. Turn this back on. Oh, cool, it's... <laughs> what? Capitalization's all messed up on my name. That was a safety feature. Really? What's the safety feature? Oh. <laughs> oh, I've been scammed by a, by a chat member. That would have actually been neat if it was, like, some sort of magnet to hold the lid closed while you're doing maintenance or something. Yeah, but I don't think Asus really would think that far, so. Also, it looks like my panel is, like, a little too low. Because if you look, let me see if I can get this in the camera. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. If you look, you can kind of see, um... You get the light down here. You can see that there's like a little bit of metal there. See that slight gap? The little white line? The lid is... Oh, like the LCD is way too low. Like it's probably like half a millimeter too low or something. Which is hilarious. Oh, so we got a nice pretty BIOS. Ripped from one of their desktop motherboards, I imagine. Yeah, it's really kind of gross. Why? Oh, that's my lamp. Like ceiling fan. <laughs> okay. I don't know why the camera doesn't want to focus on this. But let's do this. Yep, so hardware monitor, serial number. Okay, whatever. Stop, stop. I really don't like this touchpad in the BIOS. Why do I have to do that? Yeah, this is definitely just ripped from one of their desktops. Um, advanced mode. Let's see if there's anything in here. Advanced. Okay. There's SATA configuration. Interesting. NVMe configuration. Okay. USB configuration. So this might support SATA SSDs. 
Smart settings, no. Easy flash, SVM. Da da da. Yeah, so this probably should have CSM exposed somewhere, but eh. We'll just uh, let's go back to simple mode or whatever. I don't really know what this is indicating, but <laughs> yeah, we'll just run Ryzen controller. <laughs> Column one. Yep, I like it. Yeah, so the for like a metal um palm rest, it's just this thing doesn't feel terribly rigid, which is weird. It does like if you didn't tell me this was metal, it would be hard for me to really tell because it just kind of feels like plastic. <laughs> um, but yeah. Let's download uh heaven now. Oh I forgot to pin this down here. I haven't had the live thing open. Thirty six people. This is mm, Magnesium tends to feel like plastic. It might be magnesium. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look into that. It does just... I don't know. It, <laughs> it feels really cheap because of whatever coatings on it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Waiting for a download. Waiting for that to go. There we go. Waiting again. Oh, while we're waiting, we can just look up the panel info. Why not? Okay, so monitor. There we go. Tell us a computer joke, yeah. So here's the um, model for the display. So look that up while you want. And uh, I'll look at this computer book here. Let's find a funny one. And by funny, I mean quite terrible because all the jokes in this book are really bad. Uh, why can't you trust a computer? Uh, be because it's shift key. There you go. I think you're supposed to, like, sh shifty. But, I mean, they could just say shifty. <laughs> Whatever. So it's IPS, so it's better than... No. The Flex 5 is IPS, too. Meets the expectation. <laughs> okay, so I've got to download MSVCP 100. Let's go to the perimeter. And then go here and install both of these. model have 16 gig version I've seen a 16 gig version but I think it's really expensive I 
Uh, the nice thing is is that you have a dedicated graphics cards, so you don't have to worry about shared uh, graphics memory as much. Uh, but regardless, it's still not ideal. There we go. We'll set this to extreme and then custom, which didn't really help very much. Well, actually it did. Okay. We're going to set this to the full resolution of the screen. We're going to run it. Gonna open up hardware info 64. Oh, I don't have it plugged in. Hold on. I better plug it in. Does it blow hot air on the panel? I haven't checked. No. I'd imagine it probably is. Yeah, I can feel warm air down here. But since, you know, it's it's only running at 75C, I'm not terribly concerned. No, I don't want monitor diagnostic. Sensors taking them down. Okay, so I don't know what's going on because it's just kind of sitting here, not doing anything. It takes forever for all the sensors to load on this system for some reason. Probably just Asus's software being weird or something. Also, have to do a uh, update on the drivers and stuff on here. Well, that's yeah, it's taking its sweet time. No, okay. So let's see here. What do we have? Oh, we have a fan RPM sensor actually. That's nice. Uh, let me actually see if I can add that here. Unified. CPU fan RPM. Oh, GPU SOC wattage. Good. Um, can I get the CPU fan? No RPM. That's sad. There we go. So now... We can check and see that um, while running this stress test, we're running at like 12 watts on the GPU. Um, that's not nice. I don't like that. 12 watts. <laughs> Let, let's see. What is the spec for? Whoops. What is the spec for the MX350? NVIDIA MX350 specs. Let's see what NVIDIA has to say. Well, it's not really detailed specs, NVIDIA. Uh, maybe tech power up, we'll say. <laughs> 20 watts maximum. Seems like we can't really agree on uh, on the power consumption. <laughs> it's a 14 nanometer chip, though, so that's kind of lame. Anyway, uh, I have a display calibrator coming this week, so I'll be able to actually tell you um, how good the panel is. Yeah, so this one seems to be set at like uh, about 12 watts. No, it seems to be going down now. That's weird. Seems like it's variable. Well, the CPU temps at 80. We're not doing anything. That's always a good sign. Okay, stress test time. Let's see what happens. See what kind of disaster we have. Let's plug in HDMI too.
Okay. <laughs> this is pretty gross. Um, so we're limited to about um nothing on the CPU when we're under GPU load. Um the GPU one watt? Oh, sorry. Let's just um there we go. Okay, so we're running around ten watts right now on the GPU and we're running about nine watts on the CPU. Actually no, it seems like it's thermal throttling even more now. Six watts. Seven still. Okay. Let me see here. We're just going to only show. The, p the wattages and the temperatures. Yep, so as you can see, we have the CPU power here. Um, I don't know why GPU SOCs... Oh, that's the SOC GPU. Never mind. So yeah, 10 watts. Constantly. Nothing. No no change. Uh, our clock speed for the CPU, like 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, <laughs> uh, the GPU, 6 watts. Seven. It's like it's constantly plummeting. It's. Like <laughs> oh. oh man. Jeez. Okay. Twenty-five. Yeah, we're not even at a hot temp. Oh, I don't want Dropbox. Yeah, let's open let's open up my ASUS and see what happens. Nothing. Um, is there any way we can adjust that system diagnosis? No. Software update. Oh. Well, how about we just check again? <laughs> well, let's stop the benchmarking here, and let's update the uh, let's update the drivers first. Drivers and BIOS update if possible, just to be fair. Um, let's look here again. Wow. Okay. So even after turning off the GPU load, it's going to take a good few. S yep. There we go. Finally boosted back up. <laughs> okay. Just okay. Just wait for this to finish checking. Time for Ryzen controller. Yeah, probably. We'll get that pulled up if we can't fix this with drivers. How would you change the MX350 wattage and stuff? Uh, there's not really a good way to do that, but it does seem that there's some sort of like EC thing that's adjusting it. So it might be possible to override that somehow, but I would not have a clue. taking an awfully long time just to kind of oh okay so now I gotta restart the computer restart time uh, could somebody go and uh, get the panels name off of the stream because I want to look it up I forget what it was actually I might be able to do that sorry oh YouTube is breaking for me Forgot when we looked at that. It's like N one forty something. Oh, it's already back up. Why do I? <laughs> I don't need that. What the heck? My ASUS was recently updated. It gives you Bing. Do you want your Do you want your browser search to be Bing? No.
Okay, my Asus. There it is. Understand. Let's see, is there any additional settings here now? Dynamic and whisper. Yeah, so something's different now. The fan profiles are different. So now we have to retest everything. <laughs> uh, let's see if this made any sort of difference. It's going to take probably a year for it to pull sensors. While we're at this, oh, there we go, sensors loaded. Um, while we're doing this, I'll pull up the monitor specs. I'm gonna just copy the value and then go to Chrome and just go. Note, book, check. Okay, so we have covered this screen before. Nope, we have not. Oh, we have. So this is the same screen that was used um, last year in the Asus ZenBook Flip 14. Actually, it looks like um, most of the chassis was reused, so that's interesting. Yeah, you'll probably enjoy your Flex 5. So let's see here. Display response times kind of bad. So 1,000 divided by 22, 45 to 50 FPS of response time reasonably out of the screen in a more realistic scenario. No PWM, which is nice. I am appreciating that when filming this thing. Uh, display brightness is, I guess, like... Um, 306 nits, so that's nice. Uh, Delta E calibrated is still kind of bad, but that's fine. 56% uh, of Adobe RGB and 85% of sRGB. And yep, that's that's it. That's everything. There you go. Okay, so let's see what happens now that we've updated the software. There's certainly more here now, it seems. I think this is a 45 watt hour battery. Okay, so I'm gonna disable monitoring the integrated graphics because again, we don't care. Um, slow limit, fast limit, stop em limit, okay. Let's make this window taller. There you go. You can see all that lovely stuff there now. We got this open. And we'll start the graphics test. You can raise the max temp ceiling in resin controller. Note Renors are supported in V1.18.5 for now. Hey, Kodasuke, I was bugging you about my Flex 5 touchpad not working. Changed my laptop and I have no issues. Great. Exactly what I want to hear. Just, you know, some fixed laptops, essentially. Okay, so we're going to clear that and start. And monitor this. Show graph. Show graph. Where'd, where'd the other graph go? There it is. Move these down. Twenty five. Thirty. Okay, so right now the CPU is running around uh, seven watts. GPU is running around 10 watts. Um, only seven. Yeah, only. Oh, there we go. 
It's actually closer to like 10. I don't know why that says 7. Or maybe... Oh, CPU package power. Duh. Okay. Don't know why I wasn't monitoring that. Uh, we're going to set this to 30 and then reset both of these. 9 watts, 10 watts. Check YouTube and Chrome for 4K 60 FPS. I turn on my flex so it drops frames, but Firefox is much better, almost none. Yeah, Chrome is the main issue there, because even on Intel machines, uh, YouTube drops frames, but it's exa it's exacerbated by <coughs> the lack of uh, proper driver support for the recent Vega. So yeah, I'll be looking at that. Excuse me. Um, you can see here. Yep, we're still at 9 watts. It seems like it's behaving at least more tolerably now, but... I mean, I can hardly hear the fan. The temperature limit is still like 75C, which is kind of dumb. Okay, so we'll just... We're seeing the same crap again, so we'll just turn this off. <laughs> Not interesting. Oh, so only V1.18.5 works? Okay. Why? Why only that version? Where where is that version? <sighs> yeah, I don't what are you talking about? You have to look at the archive. <laughs> Where's the archive? I don't see an archive. I, I just see this, and there's no 1.18 here. <laughs> what do you mean that's the one? I'm confused. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Uh, one second. I've got a link too, I think. I've just got to um, find a USB stick. Wherever my USB sticks went. I had one. <laughs> Not anymore. I'll just put it on an SD card. Why not? Oh man, that was loud. Three pings. I have so many pings today. Why? Why does everyone want to talk to me today? Where is the thing to look for? Oh, inbox. Yeah, I forgot. You there. No. Laptops. Raspberry controller. Okay, well, I'm just going to use <laughs> this mobile tuning. Actually, no, that's out of date. 
Never mind. What? Oh, there it is. I found it. Woo! I, I don't know if this is the right folder. Yep. Bit Defender, stop. Why are you sanitizing the SD card? There's nothing on it. Okay. Let's test out the SD card reader. I'm just gonna put this little micro SD card in the side. It clicks in almost all the way. There's like half a millimeter sticking out. And there's our application. installing and we'll probably be able to play with that in a second here let's see I'll, I'll just open it up um ajw do you have any advice on how to really set this up to work um i'm probably just gonna like <laughs> set everything to max we're gonna set this to something sane like 95 tdp will probably set to Why not? I'll set this actually to 35. To boost to 50. And GPU settings, whatever, power settings. Okay. Apply. Let's see what happens now. Start. Okay, yeah, that definitely seems to have done something. <laughs> we ran up to like 40 watts. And now we're running at 25. Okay. Oh, thanks for the $5, Jesse. Yeah, um, I, I try to be as uh, thorough and technical as I can on this stuff because uh, it's important that everyone is aware of uh, everything. <clears throat> everything in regards to the devices. So, yeah, thank you so much for the $5. Really appreciate it. You don't have to do that, but I appreciate it. What do you recommend to set in Ryzen controller? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ask AJ. He would know. Um, I kind of want to... Can I just increase the boost period to like forever and then just let it scale itself? No. Yeah. Also, I think you're behind again, AJ. I don't know how you keep falling so behind. Also, I don't know why we keep, like, dropping power, current limit, I don't know, everything, forever, infinity current limit, <laughs> I don't know, okay, that doesn't really seem to have helped, we'll just not do that, um, let's have this reapply every one second,
Arshley doesn't void warranty rate. No. There's no way they'd be able to tell. Just don't tell them he used it. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we're just running at a constant 19 watts on the CPU package, but 15 watts on the cores, so. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on limit-wise here. There's probably a bunch of weird power settings we're not aware of yet. Oh. Just pin that at 1600, see if that does anything. <laughs> No. <laughs> did you raise TDP min? Oh, no, I don't I I don't think I did. We'll raise that up to like not that. Not that. Twenty five. That help? Yep, it seems to have helped. <laughs> A little bit. Can I get this up higher? 32, is that doing anything? Mm. Let's pull this up all the way. Let it, we'll let this thing thermal throttle, okay? <laughs> 69, there we go. We'll just abuse it. We'll let... Uh, it doesn't seem to really... Oh, it was thermal throttling for a second. Proc hot external. What's getting proc hot? I don't know. Okay. Something is reporting overheating. <laughs> I don't know what's reporting overheating, but something. Um, external. Oh, HTC thermal throttling. So, like, external chassis temperature thermal throttling we are running around 90 c actually so um that's interesting so this is definitely better uh let's see what happens if we fire up heaven while doing this let let chaos ensue i suppose <sighs> yep so this is the nvidia gpu power We'll see, okay, 6 watts, 10 watts. <laughs> this is going to get really hot. I chickened out at 97. I mean, these things can run at like 105 without problems. I wouldn't worry about it. 99C. Oh, ooh, ooh. 11 watt, 12 watts? <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're getting much better performance out of it now. Um, not having a covered fan would probably help at this time, but um, yeah, well, actually we're running at like correct TDPs now. If I actually limited the uh, package power down to like 15 watts, we'd probably have a pretty decent setup here. But um, yeah, I this is tolerable now. The temperatures are quite terrible. Well, they're not terrible. They're just quite high. And I don't know if I like seeing 99C every so often. But, um, yeah. This thing's not even getting that hot. Just switch to the camera view now for a little bit. Since we're not dealing with weird data. I wonder if the battery is still charging. Oh, God. Command failed. What are you talking about? Party only. Go away. Oh. Telling part is what your average gigahertz is at 90C. Yeah, that's that's true. My uh, effective clock is only like 1.4. Yeah, I mean, we're still... I wonder, can I just limit this down to 15 watts? Just for, like, the sake of not choking the GP to death. <laughs> you know?
There we go. Oh, post a link? Yeah, one second. Here's a link to the archive. Uh, and then this is a link I'll post in laptops in the Discord. And I pinned it. There you go. So yeah, now we're running at 15 watts. Oh, and that seems to affect the GPU power too. So maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe I should just crank this up all the way again and then let it scale itself. See, does this jump back up to 12 once I do that? No, but the power consumption spikes. Oh, <laughs> just... Oh, that was because the app was loading something. No, that's not seem to help. We'll just drop back down to 15. Fifteen watts, six. Yeah, it's just the GPU is a pain. Has the ability been removed from the current version intentionally? Hmm. I don't know. It's a good question. It's a shame that this drops down to like useless wattage <laughs> over time. Wonder how this would affect benchmark scores. The CPU temps definitely improved, but I don't really like that we're kind of taking a dump here so let's see asus easy tune no asus uh, um gpu to tweak two i should probably stop the jeep the cpu stress test here <laughs> yeah it's better to not be thermal throttling because otherwise you get this spiky crap by the way Yeah, they must have messed it up or something. How do I download this? There we go, download. The fans are definitely, like, blast. Yeah. Well, no, for... For... The... What? 747 RPM only? That doesn't seem right. That can't be right. That that's that doesn't make sense. I don't believe it. I don't know how to that run. Can't tell. Okay, all right, cool. Try this again. Boop. No. So yeah, the main goal in installing GPU Tweak Two is that we're gonna try to force the temperature limit to be like a million, and we're gonna see if we can get around the uh, stupid throttling crap that uh, ASUS has uh, installed on this computer. Yep, accept, I accept. Uh. This is just some lovely enthusiast fun. Many laptops won't hit their actual thermal limits by design. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> Digging through the code for Ryzen Just, and they committed code yesterday for Ryzen Just for. Oh, well, that's nice. By the way, here's a uh, micro SD card. Uh, 
the keyboard deck is actually not really that hot. Like, it's not uncomfortably hot at all. It's quite comfy, actually. It's just slightly warm. So no concerns about, like, burning your hands off because you uh, <laughs> have it running at full blast. Man, I'm quite hungry right now. Does the bottom of the screen feel warm? I've got a temperature thing. Uh, we're going to set this to C and point it right there. We'll just go like this. Oh yeah, over here, um, the worst I'm seeing is like 53. Let me look at the, uh, actual spec for the screen. Crap, what was this? NV. And we'll just look up pain look and let's see what the manufacturer says. Is the operating temperature range. This is a low power panel. It's uh, 1.4 watts. Temp. Oh, zero to 50 Celsius. Okay. Zero to 50 Celsius is what it's rated for. So do we see anywhere on the screen that is over 50 C? Yeah. Yeah, right here by the vent is quite hot, but that's also because we're running over the design temps. So um, we'll have to do that again once we restart after shutting down Ryzen controller and running a stress test and see if the screen gets um, outside of operating temperatures quite hot. Uh, but yeah, that is one downside of uh, having the vents blow up on the uh, lid. Oh, okay. I have to restart. We'll just say no. <laughs> Here we go. So, temp target 97C. Interesting. Where did Hardware Info 64 go? Oh, it went away. Oh. Did that actually help? I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Well, <laughs> after I fired this software up, it seems that the... Um, oh, no. Maybe that's when I stopped the stress. I don't know. Let's start the stress test back up again. Yeah, you can see here there's like a point where the GP watch spiked back up, but I don't know why. <laughs> it does seem like it's behaving a little better now. Um, but, you know, this is going to increase heat output. 
and we're going to see more hot temps on the screen here. This is pointed at the LCD and we're seeing like Well, okay, the little light is not terribly accurate. Like, if I point at the screen here, it'll be like uh, 45, 51. If I aim down here in the actual vent, it's like hot. This, I think this metal strip is actually, yeah, this is really hot. Too bad I don't have a thermal camera. How much faster is the MX350 versus the iGPU? Um, probably about 40% ideally, but um, I don't. I'd have to benchmark it in this particular system, uh, so I don't know. GPU clocks are plummeting. GPU temperature is at 85, um, which shouldn't be an issue, and I don't know why it's throttling at 85C. Um, yeah, that might just be the issue: is that it's hitting 85C, honestly. Oh no, now it's just plummeting even though it's at a lower temperature. Isn't that nice? <laughs> yep, okay. So I don't know. <laughs> it's complicated. But yeah, you can definitely improve your CPU power by just uh, messing with it. Infinity 15 watts. Okay. The fans are still going. That's the uh, laptop, by the way. It's not. It's not a bad fan fan sound, honestly. It's just like a gentle whoosh, which is what you want. Okay. Uh, so what do you guys want to see now? Uh, we can do pretty much anything. I can install a game. I can uh, do whatever. What kind of APU temp at idle? That's a good question. Uh, APU is running at... Well, it's still cooling down, it seems. Or is it? No. We're not really idling. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's running. I think GPU tweak is still running. Close out of that. There we go. Blender, Cinnamon's R20. Uh, I can probably do R20. Might as well. Disabling and enabling Turbo Boost. What do you mean Turbo Boost? Let's uh, plug the HDMI back in. <coughs> also, if we're going to run Cinebench, I better turn off the... Uh, well, I'll run... I'll do one Cinebench run. Oh, that's not even the right side. I'll do one Cinebench run. Oh. I'll do one run of Cinebench uh, with this uh, modified configuration, and I'll even just fully like untap it here. But then I'm going to restart it. <laughs> And then uh, retry. And I don't like typing on this keyboard. Where is Ryzen controller? Oh yeah. It's designed in a dumb way where you have to like <laughs> try to find it every time. Forgot about that. Oh no. I 
think it's no. There it is. Thanks. Nope, <laughs> that's not it. Where is it? Did I just break it? Oh my god. What is the air? I don't know. Oh, it's being denied deleting this random file. Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> I didn't want to delete it. Yep, okay. What do you mean it's open? Where, <laughs> where is it open? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna disable turbo boost on this system. Not right now. That 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 would be a whole video in of itself, um, of why I don't believe in disabling turbo boost. Um, what the heck? Cool. Um, since that's weird, uh, <laughs> uh, let's just install Cinebench. See if it actually is retaining our um Ryzen controller settings. Um, Cinebench. Drivers will improve for MD, yeah. MX350 benches. No, I've seen it bench like 40% better. But, I mean, the thing is, this is throttled. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see which actually performs better on this system, but I don't know. It's really hard to say. Dedicated VRAM does not affect GPU performance, really. It's basically going to be the same. It's just the fastest place to download Cinebench from, otherwise it takes like a decade. APU is the future. Yeah, probably. Okay, so we're going to fire this up. We're going to clear everything. I'm going to reset these. And then we're going to run it. Okay. So 20 watts, 28 watts. 27 watts. 5, 4, 4. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, I have Chrome open. That's not good. Go away. Close this too. Is NVIDIA GPU physically distant from the APU? Um, it's it's closer to the uh, grills. Uh, it, it's down it's down the pipe from the APU. So if the APU is running at like twenty five watts, that thing is going to be choking. Uh, it should be on like the opposite side of the cooler, but it's not designed like that. So. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> pipe. Hi, Lucas. <sighs> okay, so what's going on? 19 watts. Da, da, da. Is that a four core? No. This is a uh, six core.
Yeah, we've been streaming for about two and a half hours now. I might have to do. I have to take a little break here and get like something to eat and drink some water or something. It's six threads. <laughs> it's not. It doesn't have SMT. It's a forty-five hundred U. Is SMT really all that? Uh, supposedly SMT helps with like audio glitches, so yeah, I'd say it's worth having. <sighs> okay, so we got 1937. That's not a bad score, it's just not <laughs> what I'd like to see. One second here. Well, yeah, but that's a, that that has two more cores, so yeah, it probably would get like three thousand because six versus eight. Um. Okay, so I'm looking at some scores we have on notebook check, and yeah, no, that's really really garbage score. Um, it's outperforming the Swift three. But that's a worse score than we saw uh, out of the HP NVX 360 and the HP ProBook 445 and the IdeaPad 5 and the 4700U Acer Swift 3 and the Xiaomi Redmi Book 16 and the Flex 5. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think that's even with our modifications to make the thermals behave a little bit better. So, yeah, that's. It ran in 19 watts the entire time. Yep, so no 25 for this this thing. Um, what should we do now? Not do Cinebench because this thing cannot run Cinebench very well. <laughs> um, okay. You guys ready for a little bit of a break? That was weird. Okay, it didn't happen again. Cool. I'll see you later, Jesse. Um, I'm gonna plug in this external drive here, and let me see if this will show up. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Grant that auto five. Cool. Well, I'm gonna take a break and get something to eat because I'm kind of hungry. So. Yeah. All right, see you. See you later, AJ.
I forgot. I gotta be careful how to play, otherwise I'll get a DMC on the stream. <laughs>
Okay. <clears throat> I'm back now. I got some food and water so I won't die. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we can get going on things now. <clears throat> One thing I want to test is BeamNG Drive because I find that to be a pretty good like overall test of system performance just for just in general I probably should restart the system to get a uh, stock performance but not gonna worry about it go away 8 gigabytes of RAM is recommended well I have 8 <coughs> MX three fifty. Okay. Let's just go to East Coast. Something to uh, consider is that we haven't uh, we uh, <coughs> sorry we haven't updated the Nvidia drivers yet, so no idea how well this will perform necessarily, but we'll see. It's currently frozen, so <laughs> can't say it's performing terribly well so far. But that's just because the disk is slow. We're going to go to options. I'm going to turn off the FPS limiting. We're going to set this to lowest. <laughs> yes, it's very, <laughs> very smooth. No, but it's still kind of choppy. Hold on. Turn all that off. Wait for this to load. Part of it might be because this is on an external drive, so I don't know. Should be a USB 3.0, point, uh, 3 point two Gen 2 port though, so it should be fairly quick. I don't know why it's taking so long. So we're running just barely at 50, well 60 FPS, just barely. <laughs> 70. Let's see if I if I pause it. Mm, it's the same. What? Well, let's um. Let's bring this up to normal. <laughs> I really wish it didn't take this long to like. <laughs> it's probably because we're doing a uh, Steam download still. I'd imagine. That's oh, frozen. There we go. Okay. So at normal, this is about forty FPS. I mean, if you can tolerate 30, 40 FPS, then... I mean, the main thing is with this game... <coughs> ...is that it's uh, really terribly optimized, so... Um, ...that's why the graphics are not super amazing for being as demanding as they are. Like, it's hard for me to get 
a consistent 60 on my desktop, so um, I'm, I'm on high. I'm more than happy to see this kind of performance uh, out of the size notebook. Um, but part of it's uh, part of what's holding it back is just the low TGP it's configured to, which is a shame. Okay, so yeah, that's enough for me. We'll just close that out. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? There's the obvious Grand Theft Auto V we could run. Um, infinite amount of possibilities here. I think it would probably be a good idea to um, update the drivers first and then just restart the computer. Oh, is this only the control panel? Yeah, let's go to NVIDIA GeForce Experience. <coughs> Get this driver updated. Let's see what driver we're even on. Is there anything you guys want to see tested specifically other than, you know, what we've seen so far? Like, uh, I don't know, anything really. Oh, I gotta turn the camera back on. Whoops. I thought I just downloaded that. Yes. Oh yeah, you have to sign in. <coughs> Crap. <coughs> One second here. Oh. Yep. Yeah, one of the annoying things with having a trackpad this big um, is that basically, <coughs> why am I getting so many? Oh, basically the the touch surface and the click pad part goes to parts of the palm rest where normally you'd rest your wrist. So you run into the issue of accidentally clicking, on occasion. I don't. Oh, I have my live stream playing on my phone. Whoops. Yeah, so... All we can do is game optimization drivers. We are running drivers from April 15th. Again. As usual. All of these AMD machines seem to be running drivers from April 15th. So, that's interesting. Ah, uh, okay. 
<clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure uh, about Blender, but we can always try it. I I'm not sure what Blender depends on more, the GPU or the CPU, or if it's kind of both, but uh, we'll see. If it's more CPU dependent, it might be okay. But if it's mostly GPU, then it's probably going to be quite bad. Oh yeah, I haven't tested out the IR yet. We'll test out that later. Drivers, drivers. I probably could have done that during the BRB, but I didn't. Yeah, I probably could run CSGO on this. I have CSGO downloaded, I think. Let me double check that. If it's not, I can start it. Oh, there's an update paused. Let me just download the update. Oh, a 9.6 gigabyte update. Lovely. That's going to take a while. Let's let that run in the background. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, the keyboard deck in general is staying at like about 34C, which the table in here is like 26, so. <clears throat> Can't complain about that. Am I still dropping frames? Are you serious? Hello? I think we're back now. Are we back? Okay. Valorant. Oh yeah, I have Valorant installed. This is T. Forgot about that. These feet are really slidey. Like it doesn't take much effort to move it which might be a nice thing for you or might not be a nice thing yeah so it looks like it's going to take like <laughs> 20 minutes to this the downloads so that's a shame <sighs> well what can we do in the meantime to set this to allow downloads when we're playing games. Might as well, um, we could try Minecraft, I guess. Since that's a decent, uh, <coughs> benchmark for certain things. I really should plan these out better, you know. <laughs> Instead of just kind of improvising the live streams and be like, well, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Good feelings for the Asus? Or just like it feels nice? Because I, I agree, it does feel nice to use. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, how it's <laughs> configured to work, but 
wonder what this QR code is here. Oh, it's just, it just links you to the Zenbook series homepage. That's not interesting. Just gotta log into Minecraft. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. This might lag out. Oh no, it's downloading really slowly. We'll be okay. Oh, this is very high energy streaming. We're very excited. You doubt it'll run CSGO. Oh, <laughs> you doubt it'll run CSGO, PUBG, or Rainbow Six, or Call of Duty. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I. It probably won't run PUBG. Probably won't run Rainbow Six. Um, I don't know about Call of Duty. Um, but I think it'll run CSGO. Honestly, I'm not sure how I'm going to cover this uh, laptop because uh, my usual re is the break still going on? No, I'm I'm back. Yeah, we're um, just waiting for Minecraft to download basically. Wonder if I can start CSGO without updating. Wonder if my desktop has CSGO downloaded, like updated. Let's see. No. Nope. Yeah, my desktop also has <coughs> a like one gig update, so <laughs> rips the go, I guess, today. Uh, let's see here. Ba 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 ba. Blah. Blah. Oh, I should have ran an ad during the break. I'll just do that right now. Uh, what advertised it? What advertisements did everyone get? I ran a uh, mid roll. I wanted to see how it worked. <clears throat> I 
Might as well while we're doing literally nothing. <laughs> uh... It's Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft's open. Oh my god. Oh, it just started. Never mind. I won't be upset with myself. Okay. It's a lot of entity, <clears throat> a lot of game rules here. I can't find this laptop in Canada, so what laptop do you recommend? Um, alternatives. I have a Flex 5's alternatives video, and uh, pretty much all the machines that I say are good in there would be what I'd recommend picking up. More world options. Okay, we'll just um. Creative. Could probably just put the HDMI cable into the laptop. <coughs> Turn the uh, brightness up. I won't be able to hear anything. That's a shame. So I think V-Sync's on. Turn that off. Okay, so we are running. Oh, we're running on integrate. No, actually, no. We're running on the MX350. This is quite bad. <laughs> Like, we're, I mean, we're running over 60, but this is not, like, close to what I've seen, ooh, close to what I've seen with, uh, just integrated, um, because if I, on, when I was running on the Flex 5, just, uh, you know, just on the, uh, CPU, it was getting, like, 135 FPS, this is with a dedicated card, and I think it's actually worse. It'd be interesting to run 3D Mark on um, the integrated graphics and the dedicated graphics and see which is worse. Let's just do that. That sounds fun. That sounds exciting. It'd be funny if it ran smooth on Vega 6. I bet it would. Which is um the sad thing. Oh god, 3D Mark is a four gig update. Oh. Oh no. Hopefully not. Oh jeez. Jesus. Four gigabytes. Oh my god. Yeah, let's switch Minecraft to run on the integrated now. On the same world. I'll just go into the NVIDIA settings and tell it to pretty much only exclusively use the integrated graphics. There we go. <coughs> now let's load up Minecraft. Now the thing is, our performance is impacted a bit by Steam doing downloads because Steam does use quite a bit of CPU when it's doing downloads. So, you know, it's not going to be the most accurate thing in the world at the moment. but. This is just some preliminary testing during the live stream, so, you know, you can only desire to be so accurate. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Oops. Okay, so it does seem 
on this particular system that the uh why is there just rails ev <laughs> okay then good good generation um I don't know why it's like stuttery so much. <clears throat> yeah, so it does seem that MX350, when you have it running, it does run faster. But I don't know, it seems like almost smoother running through the integrated, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Hello. Uh, but we are running like 20 FPS on average lower, so. Let me mess with the. I gotta mess with the touchpad settings so that I can actually use the touchpad. There we go. But yeah, the thing is, I've seen better performance out of the <coughs> Vega graphics and the Flex 5, so I'm not sure what the deal is here. Let me just pause this download here and see if that improves FPS. No. Not really. I just sit on this roof here. Okay, so like 103 FPS. <coughs> Quit the game. Go back to the NVIDIA control panel. I'll switch back to the MX350. So remember, we were at like 105 with the dedicated, uh, no, with the integrated graphics. Let's see what this does with the dedicated. And I'm going to let this, I'm going to give this like a few seconds to settle out once we spawn in. So I'm not going to like scam, <laughs> scam the test. So <clears throat> it should be like exactly the same thing. So. Yeah, so like 10 more FPS here. Which is about like 10% better. Well, I mean, it's... It's hard to say. It could be like... It could be up to like 15% better, depending on like... What instant <laughs> we're referring to, I guess. So yeah, the MX graphics is slightly better. I don't know. I think, yeah, like, is there a lagometer thing that I can do? Yeah, there is. You can see the red spikes are lag. I wonder if I can make that slow down a little bit by making the GUI scale smaller. Yeah, and the red spikes I'm imagining are just loading. <coughs> loading chunks or something. Yeah, we are generally getting higher FPS. And actually, this does seem to be about as smooth as the Vega. I don't know. It's, it's really hard for me to say because it feels like if I'm moving my mouse, it's not the most smooth thing ever. So I don't know. Yeah, best buy deal of 550. Um Yeah, let's start the download back up again. I still want to do a 3D I still want to do the 3D bench, 3D mark stuff, so. Keyboard is hot enough where like my fingers are a little sweaty. Wonder if we could stabilize it by dropping it down to like 70 FPS. No, 70 FP. Oh. Yeah, I forget frame limiting is like really terrible in Minecraft. <coughs> Let's not do that. Oh yeah, did I have that set to unlimited? I don't remember. Let's 
I might not have. Let's go back to that village. I forget where I was standing. We'll stand like right here. So if we're considering the fact that, <clears throat> well, if we're believing that uh, on the DGP we're getting around 130, where we were getting 105 last time, that'd be like 20% better, so I don't know. Uh, are we going to be doing Time Spy? Yeah, I'm going to be running Time Spy and uh, Fire Strike. Let's um, go to a server. <clears throat> I should also do some battery tests. We'll say this is not <laughs> super good performance in all these people, but that's just Minecraft being Minecraft. Is there like block hunt anywhere? <clears throat> I have no idea. Oh. Nah, I think I'm here already. Whatever. Creeper attack. What attempts to look like while well, idling? Um, idling it was, I don't know, like, <coughs> um, I don't, do I have a different tool? <laughs> oh. I think everyone here is not really paying attention. I think you're supposed to like compete. I don't know. <clears throat> Beautiful painting. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> let's do something else. Uh, we have one minute left until 30 marks done, so I'll just abandon the match and sit here.
wonder if I wonder if I can get away with bumping this up a little bit further. We'll limit the bandwidth to like ten megabytes. Uh, the G14 is a fair bit outside of my budget range, um, and I feel like most of what's needed to be said about the G14 has been said already, so um, I, I don't think I'd really add anything valuable by covering it. But thank you, I'm glad you enjoy my videos. <clears throat> okay, cool. 3D Mark's done. We'll just launch that now. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, it looks like you can get a G14 with a... <coughs> Actually, uh, there's a G14 available at my local Best Buy for like uh, $1,100. <clears throat> I don't remember how much. I think my line of credit through my credit card is like very close to that. So I don't really want to worry about that right now. it would be like a thing I'd want to do when I have more money or something. Is the screen as beautiful as Asus says? Uh, the screen on this computer? <coughs> okay, let's run Time Spy. I think... Rendering device. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna run... We're gonna run with the AMD Radeon graphics first. Just to see how much better... The MX350 is in this system. Now, this is not considering the fact that it throttles down when it's under load, um, but, you know, I mean, we can't really <laughs> do much about that. Actually, no, this is very fitting for how many FPS we're getting. Just... <laughs> nope, the stream is not lagging. We're just getting two FPS in time spy. I don't know why the HDMI stopped. There we go, it's back now. <coughs> <laughs> it's 
It's hard to find good good music. That won't get me copyright striked. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the <coughs> FPS we're seeing is not amazing. But I didn't expect it to be super amazing, so... Can't say I'm too mad about it. Um... What is this? It's Vsauce music. We'll just play Kahoot music. No. <laughs> what is this again? Oh yeah, it's that annoying song everyone doesn't like. <laughs> Um <coughs> uh, see you later. Um Yep, see ya. <sighs> yeah, I'll just play me verse music that works. Question, when you get laptops to test, do you return them after you're done testing them? Uh, yeah, I do. I do return them to the store once I'm done. Uh, because I don't have, um, the money to just keep buying laptops, unfortunately. I'd love to hold on to them for extended use, um, but unless I get it on Amazon, I have to return it within 15 days, uh, to, like, Best Buy, so... I just will buy things and then return them so that I don't have to pay for it, basically. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, sorry, I accidentally muted my mic. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got. I saved it, and we're gonna be running Time Spy again. My bad. So this is on the MX350. Um, I don't have much experience with, uh, Dying Light, unfortunately, Zach, so I couldn't tell you. Oh, I should also note we didn't put, um, <clears throat> the Radeon 2020 drivers on, but as you can see, this is a little bit less of a slideshow, so there's definitely some sort of improvement, uh, with the MX350, at least, um, right now. It does throttle down, so <laughs> this is not quite indicative of, uh, full performance all the time.
Yeah, that that might be the cause. Do I have a Twitch channel? I do. It's um, Code Husky YT. Because for some reason I couldn't use Code Husky. I don't I don't know why. Uh, does Amazon or other retailers give you a penalty or something if you keep returning products? Uh, I, Amazon can ban you if you return a bunch of stuff for no apparent reason. Um, Best Buy might. But the thing is, they only really care if it seems like um, you're like buying or returning really expensive stuff that they can't make their money back on. Um, you know, they might ask me to stop. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I, I haven't ran into that issue yet, but if I do, then I'll have to change my strategy up a bit, a bit, so. I'd say it's nothing to worry about, but. <sighs> Why do none of these load? I don't know. Why are all of these web peas? I don't know. Can I save this one as a PNG? Yes. Okay, so yeah, this is a much better score of 1235. So, DGPU. I think 841 versus 1235, so. So that's a like 46% improvement, which is kind of what I expected. The CPU score is still too low. Is Steam still downloading? Oh yeah, crap, Steam was downloading an update. Well, the CPU score is low because Steam. <laughs> Sorry about that. There we go. And now I'll just move this up. Cool, okay. Uh, 10 to 12 FPS from the CPU test, everything, okay. Yeah, that might help a bit. Let me look at the, um, cause 1146 for the graphics versus 602. That's a lot of difference. Um, okay, let's we'll rerun the IGPU one again without Steam doing a bunch of crap in the background. Okay.
let's try to get a different song. <laughs> that was, uh... SoundCloud freaked me out for a second. But yeah, this is... This is the iGPU, and we're getting, like, three more FPS in general. So yeah, that did make a bit of a difference. Yeah, 950 probably, yeah. Which is much better. Definitely not going to be as good as the uh, MX350 run, but I don't know. I can't complain with the performance we're seeing here. I better check all of my Discord pings, though. I got like a million. I'm glad you like the channel. <coughs> get the extra cash. Which laptops, as main machines, would you get for your family members, close friends, etc., that aren't gamers? But have crappy PCs that need an upgrade. Um, that's a good question. Uh, just for like uh, general audience people. I mean, honestly, as long as there's not any sort of like actual structural issues with the laptop, I honestly wouldn't have an issue recommending it to anybody. Um, I, I have to... This song is really short. I'll, I'll have to look more into the um, design. Actually, no, I don't like the Zen book <laughs> very much. Uh, mainly because of the rubber feet thing and some of the kind of like... Uh, anti-consumer type design practices I've been kind of observing in it but um, if I had to recommend something it would probably be something like a uh, like ProBook 435 or ProBook 445 just because those seem like pretty solid machines and um, I don't know <laughs> they should be fairly reliable if it was like um, someone had a particular need for something more powerful than just like a run-of-the-mill machine then I'd have to consider that as it's, it's a difficult question to answer I guess okay <laughs> so 982 versus we'll resave this as IGPU okay. yeah so 871 versus like 11 something so we'll assume 900 versus 1100 So about like 22% better the MX350 is. So I don't know in comparison to the Vega 7. Um, what? How does the Vega 7 bench? I don't remember. Let me look. Uh, for center view. Okay, so 
A good veg- no. <laughs> well, I beat- Oh, graphics. 871. Okay, so... Vega 7 is about 11% better, so considering that our MX350 performance was about 20% better, that would put Vega 7, like, maybe 9 to 10% worse than the MX350 in this system, so, um, <coughs> unless you really need the 8-core, I don't really see a point in getting the 4700U version, but... Just in general, I, I don't see the point in this laptop, unfortunately. Um, mainly because the cooler is kind of garbage, and like the dedicated graphics card is not cooled in a way that makes any sort of logical sense um, to, to where it'd be useful. It's just like kind of thrown together and not really given much thought, which is unfortunate, but... That's how most of these laptops with MX graphics are anyway, which is annoying. Um, what else is there now? Here's a uh, article I did on Notebook Check breaking down, uh, you know, Ren, Ren, whatever, yeah. Do you still recommend the Flex 5 for 50 bucks more over this? If you think the Flex 5 fits your needs better in terms of performance, then for sure the Flex 5 outperforms this thing like crazy. Um, the only downside is it doesn't have the, 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 the dedicated graphics, but as we're seeing, the dedicated graphics are very restricted by the thermals of the device, so the real-world performance you're going to get out of those dedicated graphics is probably lower than it would otherwise be. Um, I'll have to do some testing to see, like, if it is throttling when we're running games. Um, you know, but that's that's an involved process that I'm going to have to do independently when I'm not on video and I don't have to feel like I'm <laughs> like people are bored or something. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, like if you if you want the additional performance, if you want the two in one hinge, if you want the full size SD card reader, um, then for sure get the Flex Five. Uh, but if you, I don't know, want metal, I don't even know if I can recommend this to you because there are other metal laptops that have considerably less compromise. Double. Double. Well. Yeah. Is uh stuff done now? Oh, Counter Strike's done. Let's bring this back down. I do know that this is a metal body though because it's got these little plastic things that are for the antennas on the bottom of the laptop. It's a shame that they're down there though because it's not terribly good for Wi-Fi reception, but whatever. As I uh, mentioned earlier, it's possible that this supports um, SATA SSDs. I don't have a SATA M.2 SSD to test in it, but it does seem like it has some sort of support for it, so that's interesting. And the BIOS is actually awesome on this machine, so... Oh, is there still no display output? What the heck? Format not supported. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, there we go. That was weird. So I think we're probably running on MX350 now. Let me, um, I probably should have installed MSI Afterburner. <laughs> MSI Afterburner. Let's get that installed. 
What's the point of dedicated graphics if the iGPU is pretty much equivalent? Well, I wouldn't call 10 to 20% equivalent, personally. Um, I mean, if it runs all the games, if the iGPU can run all the games you like at an FPS that you like, at the settings you're okay with, then yeah, I'd say that the dedicated graphics is pointless. Uh, the dedicated graphics are pointless for you. Um, but, <coughs> uh, sorry. But if, like, you know, the the integrated Vega 6 is not enough performance for you for, like, a certain game, you want maybe more, like, 20 more FPS, or you're going to be playing on an external, like, 120 hertz monitor or something, then I could see the benefit of having another 10 to 20% of GPU performance because then you could push another, like, 5, 10 FPS, maybe 20 more FPS depending on the game. And, you know, that's very beneficial for that kind of thing. Uh, but in general, um, value wise, I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard for me to say. I'd have to do more game testing and see, uh, how I, how, how this, uh, shapes up to the Flex 5. I'll try to match settings to my Flex 5 game testing, see if I can see any major difference. Haven't been a viewer for so long, but what do you use the GPD on the left for? Um, a prop, <laughs> mainly. Uh, I haven't really used it in a long time. If you look at it, it's actually uh, quite dusty, unfortunately. Oh, my camera's not on. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of dust on it. I don't really use it very often. Um, I'd probably sell it to somebody if they wanted to buy it. It's kind of a weird um, late run 7y30 unit, so. It's got like rumble and all of the motherboard uh, upgrades and everything. It's weird, but cool. <sighs> Almost four hours in, everybody. Oh, the time's wrong on this computer. I'm probably going to call it at 6 o'clock my time, which is in about, like, 20 minutes, so. What's, what the heck? This is not date and time. There we go. Which one is GPU 1 and GPU 2? Okay, GPU 1 is the dedicated, it looks like. Let me just double check that. GPU 2 is the MX350. Okay. Cool. Well, I better only monitor that then. A lot of crap in here. <laughs> CPU clock. Okay. Alright, so video. Okay, I don't know. This seems fine for now. Advanced video. Okay. Can I just do um, practice with bots? Yep. I'll do dust too, why not? What do you think is the best two-in-one for around seven hundred dollars? Um, I have a video called the Flex Fives Alternatives video I have, and I'd recommend looking at that if you're um, 
you know, looking for something, I'd probably recommend the Flex 5, but um, just be aware of the hinge design problems. I think most people that aren't gamers probably appreciate aesthetics more than performance. Um, it's weird how to ZenBook 14 with the Ryzen CPU isn't touchscreen, but the equivalent ZenBook with Intel is touchscreen. Yeah, that is weird. Watching this on my new Flex 5, and I love it and recommend that. That's good. Um, what is the sensor program thing? I used Hardware Info 64. I'm, a, I'm, I'm using uh, MSI Afterburner now for monitoring data in the corner. I probably should have gotten my mouse out, but... Oops. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. Got him. Oh man, I'm really, <laughs> really low on health. I'm gonna die, guys. Oh no. Should get, should get my mouse hooked up. You guys can't hear anything, can you? There we go. So this does have two Type A ports, which is nice. Only one guy left. Let's take over for the bot now. the bomb over there oh <laughs> oh crap say B uh oh I got six health <laughs> this is not good diffusing oh he died Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I should buy something. Sure, whatever. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, no, I don't know how to play CSGO, guys. <laughs> This is probably the most awkward way of holding a mouse. Oh, they're all gonna die. Bro. We're good. I'm defusing the bomb. Nice. Bomb has been defused. <laughs> Counter terrorists win. Alright, there we go. Yeah, um CSGO is very playable on this machine, at least for me. Some people might not like this very much, but <laughs> personally, um I am oh they got rid of the Deagle. No, it's just the revolver. That's a shame. I thought the deagle was funny. Oh, probably should get. Okay. Oh, they're all over there. Got him. Oh, 
Oh, they have the bomb? Well, I guess it's game over. Where? B? How'd that happen? Oh, cool. How's the memory latency? I haven't checked yet. Yeah, I probably could share um, an ICC profile. Um, how's the memory latency? Haven't checked it yet. Okay, guys. How do I? No, I need. Where are you guys going? <laughs> go back, go back, go back, go back, back, back. game I think you need to aim for the head yeah that's true Jared I, I don't know so if I need to aim for the head um move it, move it. does that mean I should probably be like yeah Jared I don't know if that works <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Go. <laughs> Why did it take him so long? Take him out. Just kind of super hot my way around here. Get wrecked by a bot. Yeah, I'm not good at CSGO. Um. Okay, I guess auto buy. My beast is dying. Where? I need help. There you are. We're going to die. Go up there. Go. <laughs> Probably going to blow up, but...
Yeah, he got me. <laughs> okay. Well, we've seen the performance. It can kind of run CSGO. Uh, actually, maybe I should try to... S Let's just lower this down as far as we can. See if we can get this running at like a nice high FPS or something. Since it's a dedicated GPU, would you be able to overclock it? Yeah, you can do that a little bit. I'll have to mess with that later. Practice with bots. We'll just do um that sure. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know, I haven't looked. <laughs> okay. We slaughtered our enemies. They shall regret this day. Yeah, so we're still only getting like 60, 70 FPS, even at the lowest settings, so. Um, at least it's more consistent 60 at these low settings, so. Can't complain about that. a good move, wasn't it? Boo. <laughs> um, we're not in high performance, but now we are. And that made basically no difference. Oh, well, now we're at like 80. I am planting the bomb. The bomb. I think I heard something. Bomb. Get over there. Uh. Hello, game. Okay, there we go. It woke up. I don't know what that happened there.
Okay. We've established you can play CSGO. <laughs> Don't need to keep playing CSGO. Um, yes, you can overclock it. Let's just, um, bump this to, like, 250. <laughs> no. We're gonna go back to normal. We'll mess with the overclocking later. Um, blunder and Q. That and Q. Grant the Auto 5. You guys up for some Grand Theft Auto? Since it's a MX350, I might actually be able to overclock it quite far. English. <laughs> Nine plus four messages. In World of Warship. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have I don't have that downloaded. <gasps> what? I don't like the arrow keys very much because they're very squished. there a glossy finish on the touchpad uh i think so it's very smooth um it's it's what people would probably call glass but i don't know if it's glass It's not full screen. Woohoo! <laughs> friends online, friends online. <gasps> oh. this when it does that. Yep, okay, keep these settings please. Yes. 
Um, yeah, we'll just go with the default settings otherwise. And we'll do story mode. So theoretically, we should see better GTA performance than we did um, from uh, the Flex 5, but you know, we don't know. I thought that finish my friend's MacBook Air and it's so premium feeling. Yeah, I do really like the touchpad. That's one of my favorite parts of this laptop, but um, other than just the touchpad, I mean, the the brushed metal finish does look kind of crappy. I can't help but think about um, <laughs> when the this part of the game was like doubles, doubled up, <laughs> which was really funny. Died. <laughs> he got shot in the ankle. I guess that's the criteria for dying, getting shot in the ankle. Okay, let me see. How hot is the screen right now? Yeah, the screen's on, above the um Come on. Come on. In the back. Come on. Let's go. Come on. It's above operating time. Get in here and deal with the guard. Hands right your back. Come on, Nestor. We're giving you everything you want. Don't even think about it. Did it? Was it doing more like 60? Get in there. Sit tight. I'll handle the plastic. I'm fairly sure this is the MX. Let me double check. Yeah, it definitely is. Self up. Pay attention. Oh. M, get these assholes in the closet. In the back. Come on. Leave us alone. Hurry. Right. We didn't do shit to you. All set. Phone it in. I'm making the call. Hmm. That's interesting. These are just default settings, though. I'm not really trying to hit 60, so. All right, you gonna do this? Huh? <laughs> Show me the money. Slow and steady, T. Slow and steady. I don't know. This doesn't feel much different than when I was doing it last time. The GPU is pretty much pinned. Oh, there it is. We're just taking the non-sequential notes. Uh, there's enough here for us all to enjoy. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. We're done here. Let's go. Come on out, B. Give it up. Uh, I got him. Uh, I saw your face. I'll remember you. You get a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? I've seen his eyes. He's crazy. No one's crazy. I think. Be cool. He didn't have to do that. Let's get going. There'll be time for grieving later. Yeah, you got that right. Come on. I'm setting the charges. They're on a timer. So brace yourselves. <laughs> Yeah, the Flex 5 is really great. 
What's this? Local resistance? It ain't supposed to go down like this. It never is. Come on, go! Get out of here! It's possible these settings are higher than they were on the flex. Yeah, the GPU is hitting a power limit for sure. It says power limit, so it's probably being power limited to like nothing. Let me um load up hardware info 64 and check. Oh yeah, um, GPU power has been at like six watts. <laughs> Isn't that a joke? Um, TDP is 20, but this is limited down to 12 by default, and we're only running at six. So yeah, bit of a joke. We move quick. We can beat the train. We're getting there. Cops coming our way. Be cool. The eight made this it's only running at six watts, so Man, I don't think it's the graphics I think it's it. just the power limiting. Uh, no, this is just 1080p default. I haven't Ditch done the car, lowest. Right? But regardless, uh, the hey. MX350 here is kind of choking what? itself to death. So. Yeah, no, this was running much better on the Flex 5. Die, you suck, sucker! Kill me, you bricks! Motherfuckers! No, don't worry about it, fast. I'm standing here! Finish me! Glad you enjoy. Don't shoot him! Don't shoot him! Stay back! You come near me! He's fucking dead! Stay back! Go! 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 
Um, I haven't heard that the power throttling issue is fixed. Uh, but you might be able to mitigate it uh, with Ryzen controller, but I haven't heard if that's the case or not. Not always a good citizen. He did not die a hero's death. Yeah, the GPU is running bad because of its being power limited to like 6 watts <laughs> uh, for no reason. Let's see if I can get that higher with Ace's GPU tweak. Oh yeah, that does seem to be helping. Okay. Um, you can set it to run F clock at 1600. You just have to um have a modded BIOS to do that. But we know that you will show mercy to our friends. I was able to do that on the Flex Five while testing out the BIOS. You could. If you set it to 1600, it would just lock, and I guess it did help with latency a bit, but I don't think it was really enough to... I mean, it helps with, like, if you have a locked F-Clock like you do on the H-Series chips, it apparently helps with some, like, the audio stuttering and whatnot, so... Let's see, this should run... Yeah, this is... Damn, this nigga must got the baby dick. Like that? Bobby... This has got to be higher graphics, I don't know. One second. Yeah, so after setting that in Asus GPU tweak, it did help. Um, with the wattage, it seems. Yeah, GPU is getting nice and warm. But for some reason, yeah, we're still having issues with FPS. Let, let me try and drop some of the settings down. I don't know what it's configured to, but it's probably like way too, too much. Let me turn off some of the ali anti-aliasing. We'll turn off. Oh, VSync was on. Shouldn't have had that on. I think I want to just go all normal. Oh my god. You must restart GTA to turn down one quality setting. Oh, I should turn down distance scaling too because that doesn't help. I should also make sure VSync is off because that seems to be causing... That might be causing some issues. Turn off FXAA. There we go. I mean, it's still not amazing. But you do need something closer to like a GTX 1050 to be able to get like nice 1080p 60 FPS in the GTA. Well, in that case, we might as well enjoy Overwatch would work fine. Yeah, Overwatch can run in almost everything, so. Something like uh, TF2 would probably work fine too.
I've ever played you never played GTA campaign I just don't remember this segment I keep going the wrong way Ten twenty of fifth better than the forty seven hundred you. Sure huh. That's interesting. Forty six hundred U is really nice, it's just that it's not in anything right now, it just sucks. Straight off the plane. Now you know the ASAP mob is coming through. This is ASAP Fur. I don't get you, bro. How's control lag in this? I don't like you, and I will not, not noticeable. I will not. You make my skin crawl, you neo Nazi. Hey, you are all the same. You're disgusting. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, boo? What are you calling a nick? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigga. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here, he's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Uh. But seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here, you know? Get him a hybrid. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue. Eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. Watch this one. He real or mean? He gonna get off. <laughs> All right. So, Jimmy, are you sure you are man enough? Take the wheel. I don't take time to touch. Uh, sure. Okay. Wonder... How about we fall off the woman? Excellent. Now, listen to the quality. Nice. No, 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 it's too much for you. You need a compact. Whoa, no way, <laughs> man. Compact? I'm a high roller. SUV guy? I wonder if you can destroy more cars in the dealership. That's a good question. I just need time to think. This is a. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an employee of the month. Are you sure you are man enough? Take the wheel and show me. Uh, sure. <laughs> so, Jimmy, can you drive the cars sure with me? Take the wheel and show me. Uh, sure. Okay. How about we fall off the wall? Excellent. Now, listen to the quality of the stereo. No, no. No, it's too much for you. You need a compact. Whoa. No way, man. Compact? I'm a high roller. SUV guy? Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I just need time to think. This is the problem. Only the weak that car is filthy, yeah. This chump change, how I'm gonna knock a bad, grown and sexy bitch if I ain't got a fat piece out of Who you trying to impress? Yo, Auntie Denise, with all that ass, nigga, she got ass. She grown, yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. Oh, f She's sexy. Sexy? She more like obsessed with sex, nigga. Nah, oh, mad for the penis. That's exactly how I like my women. Man, shit, it's good to be home. Don't get careless, homie. What kind of magic is this? You think you're hot shit? You're just a name on a list. I crossed you out, kid. I get it quick as a whip. And you're all gone. All at the flick of... What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-yee-ass haircut you got, you'd get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with. Nigga. What? <laughs> oh, fuck. Ooh, honey. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so that's GTA 5 testing. <sighs> Put 32 gigs on my 4600H. Uh, made my PC feel like it was twice as fast. It's like an Easter egg, yeah. You can't change to 3200 and it's way better. At first, OBS CPU usage even dropped like 15%. That compared to 2700X. Desktop runs OBS at 3%. Temp wise, I try to stay under 70C on the laptop and runs 60C. <laughs> yeah, you kind of want to try to. Oh, it looks like we are running around 4, <laughs> four watts. Uh, oh, man, that's disappointing. I don't think I can really recommend even gaming on this machine. It's just like. <laughs> 9 watts, 4 watts, like 13 watts system wide. <laughs> oh no. What is this? Yeah, okay. Okay, well. Uh, it's six o'clock. I wanted to end earlier than this, but I didn't. Uh, we can do some last things. Let's open up the camera and see how that looks. Camera. Cool. Um, it looked really dim for, <laughs> for some reason. Uh, they nerfed this device. Makes me almost think these measurements are wrong. Yeah, I know. It sucks. It's weird. Um, can't believe Steer said it's trying to use the laptops as a workstation. Yeah, well, you gotta. Oh. Looks like we're dropping frames. Why are we dropping frames? Hello. Oh, 
back. Okay. Um. I mean, it, and hopefully we're back now. Um. No, we're still dropping. Jeez, what's going on with my network right now? Something's pulling a lot of traffic, and I don't know what it is. Let me check my, uh, yeah, no, nothing on my computer. Huh. Okay. Well, something's using a lot of, um, bandwidth right now. I don't know what it is, but, uh, I'm going to continue <laughs> by basically saying that I'm going to probably end the stream here. I'll continue testing this thing, uh, so be sure to join the Discord if you want more information on this laptop as it comes up. I'll probably be talking about it in my review discussion uh, channel on there. So be sure to check out that link in the description for the Discord, um, and we can just, you know, whoops, chat about this thing there. Uh, Oops, Whoops, I have, I have double, double voice, voice right now. now. Uh, so, main concerns right now. Uh, thermals are obviously a problem for this machine. For whatever reason, it just chokes the graphics card down to nothing. Uh, the fan vents against the screen, which causes the screen to reach temperatures outside of its operating temperatures. There's no link to the Discord? Oh, that's annoying. I thought there was. Let me double check that. That's a shame because I thought there was. Okay, let me get my link. I thought there was a Discord link, but I must be mistaken. Well, there's a the Discord invite is also just on screen on stream, so go f you feel free to use that one. Um, thank you. I don't know how to pronounce your username, but thank you. Is the screen brighter than the other alternatives? It is a 300 nit panel, so you do get the benefit of uh, you know a dish like nice brightness. Let me turn it up all the way here. Yeah, I, I definitely confidently. Oh my god, I'd confidently say that the this screen is actually a fair bit brighter than the Flex Five screen or even the Nitro Five screen. So, the screen is brighter. I don't know if it's more color accurate or anything like that, um, but it's definitely brighter. Um, I still wish that the keyboard backlight would uh, not be so hard to see at some angles. Cause like, let me just take the camera off the stand here and see if I can capture this. So you can see the keys and then I'll move and then they're invisible. Like, can you read the keys? Not really. If you're at the wrong angle no keys visible hard to see the keys keys are very visible I'll even turn this light off I don't know <laughs> I'll have to look into this more but yeah the backlighting does look really weird Wish it wasn't so dark. One second here. Oh, 
Oh, you're using the Wacom Bamboo on the Flex 5? Nice. Yeah, the 4700U1s generally don't come with pens. But yeah, I've updated the description to have the uh, Discord link there. There, There's uh, more people and resources there for you to check out. How would this laptop compare to an Acer Swift? Uh, like the 4500U version of the Acer Swift? Or the 4700U version of the Acer Swift? Or because uh, based on notebook check testing, it would probably about match it in the graphics division what happened to my chat um, but <coughs> in terms of CPU performance uh, in terms of CPU performance it would be worse than the 4700U and probably around the same as the 4500U you think the 4700U is worth $100 more? Not in this laptop. I would say no, not for the not for the Zenbook. In like a Flex 5? Yeah, definitely. But in this Zenbook? No. Not by any means. Oh, I had the screen on really bright. That's why you couldn't see the backlighting very well. Let me just, uh, there we go. Sorry. Yeah, you can see from like, like here. How do you like that? That gets it gets hard to read. But if you're like here, then it's okay. If you're here, it's okay. If you're over here and like, yeah, it, it, that's just the backlighting's weird. Yeah, it's. I don't know why it's so hard to read. I've never had that problem, but it might have something to do with the keys material. I don't know. I mean, at least you can see all the F keys, yeah. <laughs> 4700 U is quite a lot faster than the 4500 U if you're maxing out. I do software development and virtualization with Docker, so it's important to me. Yeah, um, I would say that the 4700 U is generally a good option, but in a laptop where you get worse, um, <laughs> you get worse multi-core performance than the 4500 U in a more competently cooled chassis, I would say no, it's not worth another uh, $100. Yeah, the Wi-Fi range issue is mostly to deal with the Realtek card and it's kind of hit or miss. And I generally do recommend swapping that out for like an AX200 or 9260. Um, I don't know about the USB-C charging, um, I didn't test it with another USB-C charger that would be capable of like 65 watts, but it's supposed to be USB PD compliant, so I'm not sure why it would only allow you to do 40. <laughs> For daily usage, you won't notice any different between the 4500U and 4700U. Probably not, no. I'd agree. Get on eBay, they sell overstock bamboo pens for $30. Yeah, but yeah, so I if you're gonna get this laptop, I'd probably only recommend getting the 4500U version because the 4700U is well, it will perform better. You'd be better off just getting a different laptop <laughs> that could actually um, cool the 4700U. 
to make it actually perform well. Flex 5 uses odd resistor values with the Lenovo charger and a rapid charge. Ah, okay. Yeah, well that kind of sucks. Didn't know that. I would look into it, but I unfortunately don't have the Flex 5 on hand anymore. <sighs> um. I suppose we could test the micro SD cards, so we'll just do that. So this specific, no, this specific SD card, it's a 100 megabyte per second um, read. I forget what the write is, but uh, it's less than that. It's probably like 60 or something. I've got to find one of these that's not opened over here. There's one that's not destroyed. Yep, 60 write, 100 read. So we should see similar scores to that. Interesting. There's no touch screen, no. So far, which is better, this or the Flex 5 with the same 4500U? Personally, I'd prefer the Flex 5 simply for the fact that it's like much more easy to work on. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's more easy to work on. It has better thermals, better overall performance potential. It's got that stylus input. Uh, I like the keyboard a bit better on the idea pad. Uh, I do prefer this touchpad, but that's not a big deal for me. Um, and I do really like two at once, so that's another thing. So yeah, I'd still recommend the Flex 5 over this thing personally. And I don't know, this thing might get returned fairly quickly, I have no idea. Oh crap. I wanted Crystal Disk Mark, no. I mean, that's not exactly wrong, Francis. It is definitely built out of plastic, and it's not the most premium-feeling plastic finish ever. Um, the soft touch is kind of the typical cheap, like, meh. Uh, why do so many laptops have downward-facing speakers? This one does. Um, and honestly, I can't tell you. I think it's just laziness in design. <laughs> uh they don't really want to accommodate putting speakers along the edges or up top or whatever. They're just like, oh, we'll just put them underneath, which doesn't really make sense. But yeah, uh, part of the issue here is that the antennas are actually here and here. So if they didn't need to do that and they just put the antennas along the lid, they probably could put like upward facing speakers there. But yeah, the Flex 5 does have a few creak points. Yep, it does. But yeah, nothing that's a big issue. It's only noticeable, like, if you're grabbing it weird, basically. Okay, so we're going to run crystal, dis crystal disk mark on the internal SD card reader. I wanted to recommend the Flex 5 to one of my friends. Moving from a premium MacBook Air to the Flex 5 would be disappointing, I imagine. Uh, yeah, well, the Flex 5 is not a perfect experience. Uh, with MacBooks and everything, there's the whole benefit of <clears throat> having very polished software experience in general. Uh, not like always, but in general, the software is pretty great. Great, but yeah. Get the best processor you can, sell it in two years. Um, 
you yeah yeah usually i try to just sell within the year because i'm insane <laughs> and uh don't like having the same computer for more than like a few months because I, I like every laptop has compromise to the point where it's like well if something new comes out that has less compromise for me then i'll probably just get that That's not a good sign. Yeah, some people like it. Some people call soft touch a premium thing. I don't really think it's premium because I own a lot of cheap stuff that has the same exact coating on it and I hate it. Especially since my hands are kind of dry. It just kind of feels like... I, I, I'm very texture sensitive for some reason. So... <laughs> um. It's just like, if something feels grippy, I don't really like it. Two in one is just cool, serves so many purposes. Yeah. Yeah, these, oh, this is really bad. This SD card reader's gotta be like a USB 2.0. Oh. oh, are we back? Okay, we're back. Uh, but yeah, this USB, this, uh, your, my Flex 5 had a few blue bright pixels. Yeah, that sounds like you had stuck pixels. I hope you got that replaced. Uh, this screen, I, I haven't had any issue with this screen. But yeah, I, I don't I don't like soft touch personally, but I will just tell you that it's soft touch. Um, <clears throat> because, you know, it's not my job to tell you what to like. I'll just say that it feels cheap to me because it's not hard to put soft touch on plastic. And that's why every single place does it. Only problem with the two in one is sometimes the hinges feel a little loose. Yeah, the Flix 5's hinges can feel a bit flimsy just because of that like weak part at the beginning that makes it easy to open. Um, so I'd agree there. It's just kind of funky, but yeah, I never rate one gig. No. No, I'll just stick with my normal test. Uh, this is more concrete anyway. I'd rather just go with the full gig because that gives you the most realistic, like, full-on bandwidth test for the thing. I got a good score on the Flex 5 while doing it like this, so I, I don't really see a good reason to change it. Whew. Let's see if the right's any better. Also... Let's just see what uh, SD card reader this is, because I don't know. Yep, USB 2.0 Realtek card reader. That's why. Flex 5 is weak hinges and two-thirds of the opening. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's designed to be like that. It's a intentional thing so that you can open it with one hand. I have an Asus 2-in-1, it's a great worker laptop, but the hinges, I like the steadiness of Max and Lenovo's. Yeah. What's funny about this uh, laptop here is the hinges are actually really sturdy. Um, cause if I... A little wobbly, slightly wobbly, but yeah, yeah. That's the that's the pain of using a USB 2.0 uh, card reader. Card reader, sorry. But yeah, the the hinges are fairly sturdy on this machine. USB 2 anything should be banned, <laughs> especially if it's internal. I don't understand what the point of that is. Um, I wonder. This is a really rigid feeling, by the way. It's the nice thing about metal builds. Speaking of which, we could check um, backlight bleed while moving the lid around, see if that's bad. Um, it does seem like it's... Like the hinge mounting is okay, <laughs> but um, it's hard to tell without ripping the screen out and... 
that's probably a pain on this computer. Okay, so this appears to be our results for the SD card slot. Uh, 22 read and 21 write. So yeah, garbage compared to what the ex what the actual SD card can do. So rip using this for anything with an SD card because you will hate it. Um, and for reference, I'll even just run this uh, off of the good old USB 3.0 port. Well, I'll run it through the USB C port. You no the U <laughs> The pass-through 3.0 port via USB-C that is USB 3.2 Gen 2. There we go. So here's the setup. And this should be able to do pretty much full speed. So we're on D. We'll run it again. Uh, this is $550 right now. But I think usually it's like six fifty or seven hundred dollars from Best Buy. So at like six fifty or seven hundred dollars, I would call this like far from a steal, especially given the performance. But I don't know. I mean, it's it's fairly sturdy. So if you don't, well, okay. Dis disclaimer about ASUS products. I have heard a lot of bad stuff about like down the road usage problems um like motherboard failure rma stuff um you know hinge failure etc i don't know if hinge failure has been a recurring problem on the zenbook 14s um i'll even look how about this uh zenbook flip 14 hinge Zenbook 14 hinge broken. Hmm. I'm not seeing any like reports of this, so that's good. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not seeing many reports of any hinge problems on this machine, so yeah. Um, Zenbook 14 is all soldered. There's no dim slot for anything, so. But yeah, as you can see, over a USB 3.0 reader, we're getting much better speeds, closer to what I'd expect out of this SD card, so very clearly this SD card reader is just junk and really is kind of a big F for, <laughs> for the Zen book because you know I, I would have considered this redeemable a little if like the if like the the creature comfort features like micro SD or whatever were like perfect but that's not the case um so yeah that sucks can you run octane 2.0 speed test it's a browser test I could, yeah, I could. We could do that before I go. Um, what else to do? Crap. What was I going to do? Oh, boop, boop, boop. oh, yeah, I was going to see if um you can charge over USB-C on this thing. Let's check uh, here. Probably not. I don't want to like <laughs> plug the charger into this thing and blow it apart. Oh, boy, boy, dropping. Uh. Hello, are we back? No.
Sorry guys, I don't know what's using so much bandwidth on my network today, but we're having some dropouts. SSD is upgradable. Yep. What standby mode? Apparently some don't do S3. And apparently it drains a lot of power while on standby. Um, I'll have to test that. I'll I'll put the system to 100%. And then I will let it sleep overnight while I'm sleeping. And see what it is when I wake up. I know the Flex 5 does um, proper sleep mode. No, there's no calculator crap on the touchpad. It's just clean. So don't worry about that. I know a lot of people hate that. I hate it. So, <laughs> yep, this is not the one with the numpad on the trackpad for no reason. But yeah, I know the Flex 5 does sleep properly. <laughs> oh yeah, we can do a battery life test. Please stop benchmark. Okay. We already know the result of that. Let's see if we can get some good battery life out of the system. Okay, time to unplug our accessories. Okay, and we'll scroll down to the battery and we're going to go to the charge rate. We're going to go to negative 30 and 0. No, and 1. No, not 10, 1. Okay, 0, fine. Okay, alright, alright, alright. <laughs> um, oh, crap. Uh, this is a disaster. Okay, unplugging the charger. Run battery. We'll set this to normal. I'm going to bring the screen brightness up to like a level that I find reasonable. And then I'm going to turn the backlight. That is like unreadable. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to turn this all the way up because I can't read it. Eh, when the light's off, let me just... There. Now it's somewhat readable. So. Yeah, I don't know either, Hugo. What laptop would you recommend for college and gaming around the same price? Um... What, what do you mean same price, though? Like, around $800? Slow, slow, but slow from BIOS boot compared to Intel. I think it's just Lenovo's BIOS. <laughs> I don't know why it takes so long. But apparently, some people are saying Zen. Some people are saying Zen too. Yeah, it's PWM. Let me see if I can counter that in the camera. Ah, uh, yes, two FPS camera. Wow. Yeah, it will just look like that. So, yeah, power consumption is about 5 watts right now. I should probably clear this and check the averages. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think some people are saying Zen 2 takes a while to boot because of a bunch of stuff it has to do, but I don't know how correct that is. Uh, what battery setting are we on? Better battery. Okay. So right now the estimate for the battery, well, if we're average, if we have a 50 watt hour battery, I think that's what this is. Yeah. 50 watt hour. And we're averaging around like five Watts at idle, which this is like relative idle. Then that would be like 10 hours at idle from 100% uh, to 0%. Let me just see what we're actually idling around. Yeah, 5. <laughs> Let's fire up uh, Google Chrome and we'll go to YouTube.
And we'll just go 10, 80p, 60. Sure, Earth from space. Whoops. We won't play audio because that's not quite fair. Okay, so while running YouTube, 60 FPS content, I'll clear this, set this to loop. We are consuming closer to, uh, yeah, on average around 9 watts. So, and that's, if we're consuming around, uh, eh, looks closer to like eight. So if we're, if we're assuming we're consuming eight watts, we'll just do 50 divided by eight. So about, oh my God. Okay. Welcome back again. Uh, so if we have, if we're consuming roughly eight or nine watts, that would put our bat um, battery life somewhere between six hours and fifteen minutes to about five hours and thirty minutes. So expect about like five hours of 1080p 60 YouTube playback. Uh, le let's bring the screen brightness all the way up. Yeah, screen brightness all the way up does significantly impact <laughs> um battery consumption it appears we like went up a whole like water too but that's not bad let's drop this down to something more reasonable and we'll continue my macbook pro 13 idles at two watts with screen on and everything yeah are you measuring at the battery I did measure the Flex 5 idling at like 3 watts, so um, I, I wouldn't doubt it, assuming, because like uh, I think macOS has pretty good power management, so it can pretty much shut the CPU off, and screens typically don't consume very much power, so that makes some sense. Let's see what happens if I turn the speakers on. Yeah, speakers don't actually very significantly impact battery life, so that's good. Eight point seven watts, roughly. Wonder if I just F eleven. Yep. If I full screen it, does it get any more power consumption-y? Turn the screen brightness down a little bit more. Yeah, actually, it seems like we are consuming more power like that for some reason. Yeah, so this is uh, interesting. So, I mean, yeah, like five hours of YouTube playback is realistic for this machine. The screen apparently only is rated to consume around like one to two watts, um, two being really off, like worst case. So. Uh, yeah, this screen screen is actually a pretty good choice, as far as I'm able to tell. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I think I'm probably going to just call it for now. Because I, I don't think there's really anything else I want to cover on stream. Like, we, we've we covered the battery life now, and that's about the last thing, so. Yeah. If there's any last questions about anything, let me know. Otherwise, I'll uh, shut things down for the evening. Is it using integrated graphics or the MX350? Let's check.
It appears to be using the integrated. Because this is just like not updating. But this is, yeah, video decode. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Here's uh, the fan sensor. It was recording negative, like, max <laughs> number RPM. I don't think that's correct. Okay. Now, actually, I should just talk about the speakers. One second. Yeah, from like where I'm sitting, it's around like 75. If you're closer. Well, now it's not even loud. Go back to the loud part. Yeah, this thing gets quite loud. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Um, I think that's just about as much as I'm going to cover for today. Uh, if you do have any additional testing you want to see done on the uh, ZenBook 14 here, just let me know in the comments or on the Discord, and I'll be able to let you know. Uh, other than that, I think that's it. So... I'll put up the closing screen and end the stream in about two minutes. Yeah, of course.